Oh man! Hey, <laughs> how you doing, man? Oh man, can you see me all right? I can, yeah. Like in the goatee. Oh, is that a goatee or is that a Mexican oh, tash? No what idea. Is Laziness. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I have been bricking it. Have you? What? Oh man, this is. I'm just a bloke who works with his hands. Oh, cats telling me to be quiet. <laughs> The wife's telling me to be quiet already. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Mrs. English. She's he's Ruth said hi. Come and say hello. You're not on video yet. You're not on video yet. No, she's not at all. No, she's though. not. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> hello there. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? You're right. <laughs> she can't hear you. I've got the. Oh right, yeah. You got your earphones. I've in, got the you? custom fit guards in. Ah, bit of a plug. Like it. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. it. I ain't made at the NEC. You're gonna have to turn right, the nice. you're gonna have to turn the tele up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay, so um I've got a light behind. Mm-hmm. Is that too bright? Uh yeah, just just normal. Yeah. That that's fine, just the way you are is fine. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> mate, so chill, can, don't worry about it. Just chill. Can, can you hear me all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, all good, mate. All good, all fine. Everything so okay. you're not this, record no, you're not recording just... at your end, are you? This is just on my laptop. Yeah, fine. That's fine. It's no problems. As long as the internet's good, then um, we the video will be fine. The audio will be good enough. I can tweak it if needed. I, and, um, I, yeah, I have good. just had a new system for the internet finished about 20 minutes ago. Oh, happy days. I'm not kidding happy you. Happy days. With uh, one of the neighbours, he's a tech guru. And yeah. he, uh, God, I'm echoing so much on here. How do I stop that? I'm echo- uh, echo- echoing in my head. The uh, yeah, he's like a tech guru, and he he said, "Don't use Virgin the Hub; it's terrible." Right. Uh, buy this, so shelled out. Anyway, he came and he's just set it all up, and it's supposed to be mega now. The dogs dangles. It, it better be because it wasn't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're expecting some big things from your YouTube channel then. Uh, uh, well, don't bank on it. I mean, that's a lot. I've seen the print behind you. That's a lovely print. That is that the one from you oh, and Rich? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. It's lovely, mate. Really Kath nice. will not let me put a hole in the wall, <laughs> <laughs> so it's propped up just for ambiance. <laughs> ambiance. <laughs> Big words. We haven't even started the beers yet. Uh, Speaking of which, have you got a tipple? I have, pal. Yes. Uh, well, uh, seeing as though we're in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a little bit perverse. I like it. And I've, and I've got the good old. Shh. I've I'm trying this. I've I've not been drinking since I had that. Um, oh yes, pancreatitis yeah. thing. But tonight What's I that? thought, bugger it, it deserves. It's Cafe Racer by. I don't know. Fear Spear. I think Ooh. this was from Sh- Struan. Do you know? Um, Re- oh, motorcycled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Struan, yeah. Oh, and I think this is one of the one he sent me a box full of loads of different beers to try, and I've not had a chance to try them. So I think this is from you, Struan. Thank you very much. Right. Shall we? Happy days. We shall. Cheers. Welcome, Slangs. All right. It's well, first time I've drunk in about two months. I'll be on the floor in a minute. That's the first one. Mm. Well, I've got the wow. brood dog, but this. Uh, this is probably a bit of a girly brew dog. It's got a hint of lemon in it, but it's the only one that I really like. Oh, that's the, the lemon beer that they've brought out. Yeah, but the, you can't buy it any longer. Oh, can so you not? It's like a special. Yeah. So just waiting for it to come again, I'll get another case. <laughs> oh, nice. See, I know a couple of people who, because we drink the lemon beer when when we had a life and we used to go to Spain. Yeah. We used to um, drink oh, the... That is... um, the lemon beer over there. I can't remember what they yeah. call it. No, I can't it's remember. Amazing. I was drinking it when I was... Uh, I, in fact, the last time I was out there with Lyndon, I said, mm-hmm. I need that lemon beer. And we found it. And I got it and I was making... Every other bar we went to, we went to a couple. Uh, I was asking for it and they just kept bringing me something else all the yeah. time. So yeah, in yeah, the yeah. end, I, <laughs> in the end, I was going to the fridge and going, I want, I want that one. That's the one <laughs> yeah, I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cracking, is it? Really oh, nice. Yeah. This yeah. is lovely. This is coffee and vanilla porter. Oh, it's really nice. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> I know, but it tastes yeah. lovely. Right, Pete. Yeah. You may be you may be surprised to hear that there is um 
there's, yeah. there's quite a few questions for us to go through here, bud. We have I- over 40, I think it is, on Patreon and over 30 on Instagram, and I haven't even looked at Facebook because there's not a chance we're going to get there. Can I just say, what the hell are you doing having me on? And two, how the hell do I follow Ben? How the hell do I follow Ben King? A on, massive let me go. bowl of sugar. I was going to say, let me go get some sugar. <laughs> what a, an amazing, an amazing guy! Just isn't he? Yeah, y- you can't help. I mean, there's been a couple. There's been a couple of people that have have messaged and said, "I just, I just couldn't. I couldn't watch it. I couldn't keep up. I just couldn't watch oh, it." Yeah, but yeah, the overwhelming amount of people have all just been like, "That bloke is a breath of fresh air. Like, his yeah. positivity is amazing, isn't it?" How can it be sat on content and books? I know. How can like it be just sat on it? Yeah. He must be so happy delivering his uh, groceries. I think I think he genuinely I think he genuinely is. He just he strikes me as a type of bloke that likes to be busy. He likes to have something to do and something to focus on. And I mean he, he genuinely is doing something at the moment, isn't he? He's doing yeah. something which we all need. So yeah. um yeah, Definitely. why not? Yeah. It's got to be hard that to be on a trip like he was on and then get back to, have to normal. That, yeah, to be through no fault of your own. It's not like yeah. you've reached the end. It's just like yeah. bang, that's it. You're home now. And, yeah, forced to stop. Well, like yeah. uh, uh, normally, itchy boot cheese. I've been mm. the same, hasn't she? She's obviously been on yeah. a huge tour. Yeah, yeah. And, and Roxy as well. Oh hell yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few of them at the moment. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. We should just all bugger off and. Do our own thing. Well, I'm I'm hopefully, as long as nothing horrendous happens in the next, what, 10 days, I am yeah. off to the Canaries on the 8th of December. Mate, I would have for, been there a, a heartbeat tour. if it wasn't for the case of it being... Uh, well, the shop's, the shop's been shut for the last four weeks. Yeah. So uh, we've lost four weeks income, effectively. Mm. Um, I mean, that's, that's understandable, mate. Yeah, so it's... And it's... Potentially, when we open back up on Wednesday, there'll be queues out the door like there were last time. You know, mm. when we came out of lockdown last time, and it was just full on. And there's no way I can not be there. The wife's given me no, strict, of course, of course. Cats give me strict instructions. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'll be going back. Believe you me, I will be going back to the Canaries time and time again because it's. I go well, on about the Picos and the rest of Spain, but the Canaries is a special place as well. It's, yeah, any well, opportunity, I'll be there. Yeah, well, I was talking to Lyndon the other day again. We we talk regular, obviously, and that's, um, that's Lyndon at Toro. Folks. Yeah, Toro uh, Adventure. Yeah. yeah, so I'll be uh, yeah, sorry, but yeah, uh, but I'll be hopefully fingers crossed going out in January. Yeah, uh, me, uh, me and Rich were supposed to be going out in February, but um, I might try and get out there in January. We'll see. Nice. So, yeah, it'll be good to get back. I've just, I'm actually, I've just finished editing today. A vid from the last, not the last time. That remember, I did the off-road day, um, <laughs> well, the Toro Trail on the that's, Huskies. That's not off-road. That's not off-road. <laughs> hey, that's that not was road. Dak, that's that not. was Dakar Rally for me. You went over some well, pebbles. That's all you did. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait till you see the next one because the next day I said to Lyndon, "I've had, I've done my bit. I'm, I don't want any more off-road. Can I go out on the GSs?" And he said, "Yeah, no worries. Go out with Adrian. Adrian will show you some great roads." So we jumped on the brand new 1250 GSs and we headed off. The but best as bike we left, in the world, it, by the way. It is the best bike in the world, absolutely. So um, as we left his place through the gates, he shouted, because he was down at the Toro Trail base, he shouted at Adrian, off-road, off-road. Well, he, he said he only meant it as a laugh, but Adrian thought, oh, he... He wants me to take him off road, so we, we spent the day off road on the bloody GSs, and I got to admit I didn't I did enjoy it on the GSs. So that vid's coming out. That'll be out. Did he, he must have took you on week. that that loop round the the mountainside. Yeah, you come off, off the off, twisty from the petal station. Beautiful twisty. Yeah, 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 man, man, that one. I I yeah. mean heaven Pretty on there. Pretty special, isn't it? absolute heaven. <laughs> Me and Linda, we we spent a whole weekend, just the two of us, absolutely trying to find new trails. It was mega. Yeah, well, you was just telling me, I was speaking to him last week, um, that he's found he's found a whole load of new trails yeah. and new roads and everything, so he's mm. dying to get everybody out there yeah. and, and yeah. sample it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Can't wait. 
Right, Pete, it. for for anybody who perhaps has never heard of you, don't know who you are, <laughs> the uh, everyone that's listened to the podcast, I'm sure by now will have figured out that the infamous Pete English that we always get these amazing questions posed to us from, well, this is Pete English. So, Pete, how about, uh, as I do with everybody, I'll throw the floor open to you. What's your name? Where'd you come from? What you do? Bosh. Uh, well, I'd like to say a cheap bog washer would wash it up, but that's not true. The wife does everything. Uh, <laughs> Pete, uh, I'm a, I own a carpet business, carpet and flooring company. Job done. <laughs> Give it a plug. Give it a plug. Uh, uh, it, well, it's me. It's Pete English. Uh, Pete English Flooring. Uh, we just actually opened a new venture, actually, very shortly, just to try and cash and carry. All right. Flooring. Uh, we're in the process of doing that as we speak. But no, I've been. I was a floor layer for thirty years uh, on my knees, working for Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Bouquet mainly, high end <laughs> stuff. Uh, and then after thirty years, I'd had enough. I was buggered. Crawled around on my knees, being walked over by women for years. So uh, people pay for that. Yeah, uh, actually, it's a very, it's a similar story to yourself in a, in the degree. My mum passed away. So uh, once we settled off all of the accounts and everything, there was a little bit of money left over. Uh, my brother put a kitchen in his house, and I just had this little bit of money, and it was enough to basically pay rent for a year for a, mm-hmm. a shop. So me and the wife sat down and went, We've, we need to do something with this little bit of money. So we effectively opened the shop um, and it turned out to be only half of what we needed, but it, it gave us the incentive to get something done. I wanted to do something with the money. So that was six years ago and we've just been steadily building and building and building. Thankfully, I had a, a big client base of customers already. Um, that soon as they found out I had my own shop have been coming and it's been building and building and um it's been tough it this especially this covid shit it's been unbelievable yeah uh but that's basically where we are today six years in now with the shop um it's like i said it's been a bit of a struggle but we're going we're carrying on um kath does all the the, the, she runs it. I'm just front of the shop now, really. She, she, right. she, she turns the cogs, and I just uh, do the sell, <laughs> the sales bit. But um, that's where we are now. And um, but yeah, I've got oh. a thirty-year-old son who's been into bikes for years since. Yep. It's Ash, isn't it? Ash, yeah, yeah. He's um, he's a very, very, very good rider. Yeah, me and him have been riding for years, mainly off-road. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's a Ducati boy. Loves his Ducatis. Uh, <laughs> but, um, and then I've got Little Angel, and she's our little little angel. She's 11 now. So um, she keeps us on our toes. So awesome. keeps us young. Yeah. So that's me, just basically. In, just in case people um, are in the market for a carpet, whereabouts are you based? Well, we're in the northeast. We're in a little town. We're a little, little, uh, a little shopping precinct really in Billingham in, in Teesside um, yeah come and see us tell me you've heard me on here and I'll um, charge you double <laughs> there'll be links in the show notes or in the vid description folks so if you are in the market for a carpet uh, avoid Pete yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> don't right don't yeah go on carry on no no go on mate go on go on no I was just going to say that small who's your um Sponsors, your 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 sponsors. Now, I was going to say I'll uh, I'll sponsor you, but it's not for me. It's for any it's for any independent out there. Stay away from the big boys. All these big sheds. Use your little yeah. independent. Shop they, local. They will always, always, always do a better deal. Always. I I really hope something comes of this whole something positive comes of this COVID thing mm. and. We as consumers, we we maybe do start directing our attention, at the very least, towards homegrown any yeah. British industry that's out there. But most importantly, I think local. You know, just yeah. people start where you can, 
start shopping local for sure. Yeah. Because yeah. as you said, God, people are on their knees at the moment, aren't they? Oh hell yeah! But the biggest thing that grapes us is that these big industries, these big outlets, they can spend fortunes on advertising where I can't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I beat their prices all day, every day. Yeah. You know, regardless of all this free, we beat them all all the time. But we can't advertise like them, can? Mm-hmm. So, but uh, we've got we've got good regular customers, and they always come back. So we're doing something good. right. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Yeah. Repeat customers. Um, well, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? Yeah. It well, my, my mantra and has been for forever is that every job that we do should always lead to another job. That's it. Awesome. Should be. Yeah. Cool. Well, I wish I lived up that way, mate, because we, we, we're after some carpet soon. So, uh... yeah. Well, don't forget, I beat your hands. So, <laughs> yeah, no. you have. Yeah, yeah. Right, dude. There's there's so much that I could ask straight off, uh, straight out the gate. But I I reckon with the amount of questions that have been posed by everybody, right, mate. It'll it'll pretty much be covered in a lot of those questions. I think so. How about we just fire on, start working our way through questions and see where it takes us. Let me ask you a question first. Go on then. How are you feeling? Absolutely massive. All right. (laughs) (laughs) How are you feeling? Uh, I'm I'm not bad, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. um, I I had to go today to the hospital to get more blood tests. They still still haven't got a clue what what caused the pancreatitis and all the issues and stuff, but uh, they're... I've I've been literally scanned from head to toe by every scanner there is, and there's no sign of like cancer or, or anything like that. So, thankfully, it's nothing horrendous as far as we, as we know. And in all honesty, I've had I've had like stomach issues for over thirty years, so it's not going anywhere. I'm just yeah. hopefully hopefully, pardon the pun, we'll get to the bottom of it fairly soon and yeah, sort it out whatever it is. Let's hope so, pal. Nikki, yeah, okay. Cheers, Ah mate, yeah, yeah, she's all good. She's she's got a hearty knee. She's gonna hate me for saying <laughs> okay. that. She she was running for the train for work the other morning, and uh, she slipped going up the stairs to the station and smashed her kneecap into the the step. Oh shit! And, um, thought thought she'd actually fractured her kneecap, but um, it's been like three days now, and she's she's up and about today, so that's all right. <laughs> Bloody hell! Right. Apart from that, good. she's fine. Excellent. She's northern, mate. They're tough as old boots, that lot, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I noticed there was a few extra boxes in the garage, so there must be something must be all right. Oh God, man, don't. My my, anyone that doesn't know, Mrs. Teapot is a complete and utter hoarder. If if she hadn't met me, my wife would be one of those people you see on the television that that is literally like mountaineering over the crap in their house. That's what she'd be like. It's it is infuriating at times, but anyway, never mind. I like the way you're steering this round well, towards man, me, Pete. Got... But um, oh no, I can see you. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to ask questions. I'm just I'm just going to keep asking questions all night to avoid all the other ones. <laughs> right, we'll go straight in then. Right, we're going to head to Patreon okay. first, uh, as we always do. Patreon.com forward slash teapot one. First name we've got there, Richie Vida. <laughs> He says two uh, questions. David. One, as you're a carpet Ooh. man, uh, as you're a carpet man, after a substantial spillage, is it possible to remove all traces of red wine from a very expensive <laughs> woolen rug? There's a story here, isn't there? There is, yeah, yeah. Go on. Uh, actually, uh, right. So Rich came to stay with me a couple of weeks ago when we went. To, I went to show him my neck of the woods. We went. Yeah. We had we had a few mega days. Fantastic. Yes, so they, they, they will be coming up. Don't worry. We'll be talking about them. Yeah. yeah. So he, he, uh, he came he came to stay and him and Kath, Kath, my wife, uh, I don't know, they had about five bottles of red wine. Uh, and one of the said bottles ended up all over said very expensive woolen rug. Ooh. Uh, so yes, to answer Rich's question, yes, I did get it out. But, said, but, was... but as of yesterday, Kath has replaced said bug. Not that there was any, not not that it needed it. She just wanted something different, and 
<laughs> Being in the trade, I got discount. So, <laughs> <laughs> so who is who is responsible for this? Oh yeah, Mitch. Oh Mitch. Was that Mitch, right? one hundred percent. One hundred percent. I'm surprised you didn't offer to tile it for if you. It, replace it. If he tells you, if he tells you any different, it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a part two to his question. Yeah. Uh, is it safe to ride across a Ford on a motorcycle at this time of year? <laughs> yes, it is. Just not really? the one I. Just not the yeah. one I did. <laughs> for anyone that's uh, not aware of what's going on here, it's on Rich's channel, isn't it? Or is it on? Yeah, it's yeah. on Rich's, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's on Rich's. Head to yeah. Richie Vida's channel. And you can't miss it. Look for the thumbnail of poor old Pete here stood with his hands up in the air and his beloved brand new 1250 GS on its side in the water. Look for that. Brand new. Brand Literally brand new. new, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You just had, you just come down to me, hadn't you? And had it yeah. um, I think two ceramic later, coated. I think, I think I'd been, I think I'd been down to see you and Pete. Yeah. And then about two weeks later, me and Rich decided to go skittle the bike along the floor. See, that's what happens when you go off-road, though, Pete, you see. That's why off-roading is just it's, it's evil. There's no point it's in it. It's just stupidity, really. <laughs> do, you know, do you know, there's been so many comments on that video. Some have been pretty cutting, to be fair. But, uh, oh, w- welcome to social media, man. Oh, welcome. Shit, man. I, yeah, I don't know how you do it. I really don't. I look at them and I want to I wanna get hold of the camera and go, what's, you know, I know. Just, yeah. you know, why have yeah. you done this? Are you stupid? Yeah. What? There's a bridge further up. Yes. I know there is, but so, but I have skittled so many bikes over the years, mainly <laughs> mainly off road bikes. I've had bikes flip upside down, so one landing on the on its side gently is yeah, is it's nothing. Not, nah. You you got that vid, haven't you? You and your boy Ash go out on yeah. off roading, and yeah. he flips the thing, doesn't he? Oh God! Well, Ash has been riding since I bought him his first bike when he was seven. He's now 30, so he's been riding long enough. Uh, and I never remember. He'd, he'd been riding about uh, maybe a year on a PW80. And we, we used to ride on this land, and it was we had acres and acres to play with. And he was riding, and he just disappeared, just, just disappeared. And they'd cut a drainage channel in this land. And it must have been about six foot deep, this drainage channel. No. And he was hurtling at full speed on his little PW80, which, which is fast enough. And he literally, he literally landed on the other bank. And he just got up, and laughed, and <laughs> just l- loved it. Um, but he's he's worthy enough. He, he's he's took more spills than, but he's made of strong stuff. Yeah, good. But I find. Yeah. So go on, go on. He doesn't ride as he doesn't ride. Unfortunately, a lot now with with his job works away, and he's got a mm. young, he's got a family now. So we don't get out as much, which yeah, I miss. I miss a lot. Yeah, but those times will come again, mate. I've I've got some mates that are, are going through all that just now, yeah. and that you know they're they're all going having their families at the moment, and yeah, yeah. time's precious, isn't it? So, but well, those ho- times will come yeah. again. Well, hopefully, we're doing Morocco next year. So fingers oh, crossed. Mega. Well, we're supposed to do it this year. We were supposed to do Morocco, Portugal. We had loads, loads and loads of stuff booked this year, but um, fingers crossed we can get the Morocco trip done this year. But, um, that's uh, yeah. that's a good two two week trip. So, have, yeah. have you been before? Have you done Morocco before on the bike? Uh, it was supposed to be this year, wasn't it? It was my big fiftieth this year, so I had my Morocco oh, no trip, way. and then we we had uh, Portugal booked and. I had about four trips out of Toro, four or five trips to Toro that have all gone P-town. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I mean, Morocco trip, that's, um, yeah, that's because it's the off, full off-road. It's like yeah. full on the GSs. But, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. is that with Lyndon? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, it's it's got, awesome. It, I love Morocco. What a, what a great yeah. country. The people just are not, so just, friendly. Yeah, just not on a higher bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a story again to that one uh those videos aren't available on youtube anymore but no. um there is a story i'll tell you one day people if you see me over a, a beer or over a brew <laughs> but we'll draw a discreet veil under yeah. that one <laughs> right richie cheers for those mate next one dave Hemi. rich to you both What's been your biggest? Oh, what's big? Been your biggest life lesson to date, and what did you learn from it? 
Oh, he's learning from you with that one. Yeah. Go on then, after you. Uh, shit, life lesson. I think, well, when I, when, I, uh, when I started working, I was, I didn't, I, I dropped out of school. So, so I didn't do 50 at school. So I went straight working and I went working for a carpet company. And in the carpet company, there was an old boy, proper old school, old like army guy. And he was the warehouse manager. And he told me, uh, two, he told me two things. One I listened to and one I didn't. The first thing he told me was never worry. Uh, oh, the, sorry, his first lesson was um, put money in bricks and mortar. Put yeah. as much money you yeah. can. If the banks will lend you it, do it. Whatever they'll lend you, just just do it and don't be afraid. That I didn't do. We did. We had a little dabble, but not a lot. <clears throat> but the lesson I did take from him, the biggest life lesson was, he said, never be afraid to spend money because spending money earns, you, you'll always earn money if you spend money. And what I've done wow. through, through business is that I've never worried about spending, investing, basically. So it, so we set up this business and it needed things. It needed a warehouse. It needed stock. It needed this. So I've never worried about buying stock, mm-hmm. buying something. If I need a warehouse, you get a warehouse. It costs you, but you get it back because you can store more. You can buy things cheaper. So his life lesson was never, never worry about spending money because by spending money makes money earns money. Basically, mm. is what he was saying. I can't remember his exact terminology for it, but he he told me, and I was a fifteen-year-old kid thinking, no idea. But mm. I, I've never worried about spending money to earn money. If that makes any sense. Okay. So you need money there in the first place. That's well, <laughs> that's the slight issue yeah, I've got at the moment. Yeah, no, that is true. <laughs> but that is true. But if you if you spend a pound, you should earn two. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the that's the premise behind that. If you know, it does. You don't need lots. Just if you if you buy it, you should be able to double it. Really. So yeah, that's that, that's a good mentality to yeah. have. Well, good rule yeah. to work by. It, it can bite you in the ass, mm-hmm. <laughs> especially mm. if COVID hits. But um, yeah, yeah, we've just learned that we've just stockpiled a lot of flooring at a really good price, and now I need to restock that. And of course, all the deals are finished. Mm-hmm. But all my promotional material is for the original price. Right. So yeah, we're going to take a bit oh. of a hit on that. But, oh. Hmm. oh. <laughs> how have you how have you found um well I suppose it's not like you've been what I'm trying to say is I know a lot of the bike in the bike world, a lot of the bike dealerships have had their best year ever. Mm, They've had yeah. their best sales ever. Yeah. Mm. And I was I was gonna ask, is that transpired across to you through yeah. your market? Hundred percent. However has it? however, we are a small family run business. Mm-hmm. So we can only we were running at virtually capacity anyway. You know, we've got we we tick along quite nicely and you know we have a team of lads who do the fitting and um you can only you can only do so much in a day you can only see so many customers in a day you can only do so much physical until you scale up to your your huge warehouse type shops yeah and obviously we're sort of a small like boutique type shop we're customer based so i want to i can spend time with my mrs smith i can spend time with her and get that job done. We took it over really nicely just doing that. Fine. Mm-hmm. So we were already running that, but so we were close for nine weeks. And then after the, lo- the first lockdown finished, we had queues, literally queues out the door. And wow. of course, and of course, the sort of the, the main reason to come to us in the first place is for that service where I speak to you and I spend time yeah, with you. Yeah. That all goes out the window because I'm next, next. And the yeah. lads at full capacity, and you can't pull anybody else in. So, although there was a lot of work to be had, we could only still do so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, we, we, don't get me wrong; we we still made here while the sun shines, but mm. it was tough. It was really tough. Yeah. Th- certainly for for me, it this year has actually been a massive confidence boost. In that, you know, well, hopefully we're now coming towards the end of this whatever you could call this year has yeah. been but i'm still here you know and mm. and I'm, 
for me, it's like I went self-employed and I've got through this hopefully never to be repeated period. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. that gives me a bit of confidence that okay, yeah. right, we can we can keep going at this. Let's <clears> let's and I'm sure most most self employed business owners yeah. are are the same. If you can get through this year Yeah. Yeah. You'll be laughing. You'll the laugh. one thing I le- the one thing I've learned <clears throat> excuse me, is um I'm not afraid to close my doors if I have to. Mm. So you know, me and Kath, I do. I go off and do buy things. We try to have family holidays if we can, but more often than not, Kath and Angel they'll go off and go, you know, on holiday together, and which is fine. I love it. I love the fact that they can go off and do their own thing, and I can do my biking thing, and we can get together and do our own thing. But uh, we've actually said now that no, we're going to actually maybe even take two weeks in the summer to just close. Just we'll just close. We'll just shut down and and have your own time. We we'll just have our own time together. because yeah. 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 Because although we've got some staff, it's it's not the same. It's mm. you know, it's more often enough you come back to some twice the work effectively. So, mm. uh, but no, it, it's what it's. I'm not. I'm not. Sh- I'm not scared of closing the door anymore. Where Good. I used to be, I used to be sort of petrified, thinking I've lost ten customers because we closed early, or we, you know. So I'm not. I'm not. Mm. That. I'm not because those customers, they'll wait. Yeah. Well. Hopefully, but yeah. So yeah. So, so yeah. That's, uh, kind of, that's, sure you'll be fine. that's kind of what it's taught me. Having said that, I haven't had the accounts back from the accountant, so he might <laughs> he might tell me different. <laughs> that's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah, I've still got to do my first proper tax return oh, come the man. new year. That yeah. that'll be fun. We'll don't, see. Be, don't forget to claim for your uniform, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. I think the accountant's probably going to look at me and go, "How have you survived?" Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be like, "I don't know." <laughs> um, yeah. oh, for me, biggest life lesson to date. Um, I think. I think. What are we at? We are twenty-eight minutes in. I'm going to mention it. My trip. Um, the the world yeah, trip. Never be ashamed to mention your trip, pal. It's. I'm. I'm not. It's tongue no, in cheek. It's tongue yeah, in cheek. Know, you know. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, I'm I'm immensely proud of it, but you, know, you, don't, you don't you don't want to be a one trick pony or there's a, there's a million people like me who are very envious. Just yeah. you could, I was just I, I I was lucky and very fortunate that I found myself in a position where I could effectively turn my current life off for a year and a half and yeah. and and go for it. So fine, you know, it did. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was probably my biggest life lesson, and it and it taught me that I am capable of whatever I truly set my mind on, and and the value of never giving up. Just you know, if you want something, keep going, yeah. no matter what life throws at you, keep going. Don't expect it to happen, but if you want it to happen, and you, whatever things are thrown up by life in front of you, if you deal with them, form a plan to deal with that get around it and keep on track to your ultimate goal it will happen eventually you know it's 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 you that will stop it happening at the end of the day when you give up it's never going to happen as long as you keep striving as long as you keep That's going it. it's always within grasp so you you've just got to keep going i think Absolutely. one of the biggest one of the biggest things what you will have obviously learned and i've learned through a little bit of, when you travel when you see you go off the beaten track, you stay away from the Benidorms and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. You, got the, you realise that the world is such a beautiful place mm. and it's completely different from what the BBC will tell you. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So it's, um, you know, we, we, we've done, we, I've been going to the Middle East for a long time and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And people, that, I still see people now that tell me, you know, are you not afraid? You know, are you not mm-hmm. scared? And you know, you go to a Muslim company? No, absolutely not. No. Mm-hmm. And we've been to other places around the world, and it's just people are just getting on with their own thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. And when you come back to reality, you realise that there's a lot worse people off than than we are. And... Oh God, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think you know, you just need to look at you need to look at some of the people that have been on the podcast recently, Ben. Yeah. You got Ben King, Roxy, right from reality. You know Paul and Holly. All those guys have been through the stands. There's there's countries called like uh, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan. Uh, oh God, 
Azerbaijan. Have I said Azerbaijan? <laughs> there's there's loads of there's all these different countries that have stands in their title, and traditionally, you know, they're all pretty much Muslim orientated countries. They everyone asso- automatically associates Taliban and all that side of life to it. And yeah, the, you know, it does exist up there, but it's a tiny, tiny part of it, and most people are incredibly generous and welcoming Ooh. and and it's it's a part of the world i've always wanted to go to and i i didn't on my trip and i really wish i I'd, i had put the route through that area but i didn't at the time but you look at people like ben ben went into iran you know right during the conflict when it was all going he, he went into iran just wandered on in there and he said some of the nicest people he's ever met met i've known people that have been to syria admittedly before the, yeah. uh, the the Taliban got hold of it, but um, again they said Syria had this reputation as being like the axis of evil over here in the West, and yet they said it's it is one of the most they are some of the most kind and generous and welcoming, hospitable people you'd ever meet. And apparently it was such a beautiful country, and obviously that's all been decimated now, sadly. <clears throat> well, you had the same uh, experience in Russia. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I was brought up in sort of the eighties, the Cold War, and told that Russia's the, you know, the the enemy, effectively. Mm. Yeah. You are oh, some of the nicest people. They yeah. really are. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't fight them. I said that <laughs> in my <laughs> no. video. I would not fight the Russians because <laughs> oh. they are a different breed. They are a very hard breed of people, mm. but um, <clears throat> very welcoming. As long as you show them kindness and respect, they'll do exactly yeah. the same back to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, next one, Paul Simpson. Simo. Oh, Simo. Uh, me and Simo are good pals. I, I like Simo He's a, a lot. top bloke. Yeah, top, no, top yeah. Bloke. Yeah, him and Helen, absolutely amazing. Couple. They are a lovely yeah. couple, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Folks, um, in case any of you have watched the Patreon vid with the pheasant, the infamous <laughs> pheasant, Simo is the gentleman who was behind me on the GS adventure and put it down the ditch. Well, Simo's, still kept Simo's it ditch. <laughs> yeah, Simo's did you, ditch. <laughs> did you see me when I took Mitch past? And we pointed you it went, out. I did, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember you speaking. I said, we're coming up to Simo's ditch. Yeah, that was spectacular how he oh, managed man. that. Uh, well, his pannier, <laughs> his pannier's helped. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Got, man, yeah, what a day. Oh, man. Oh, it was <laughs> such a shame he got cut such short. Well, your fault he got cut short. But... Right. Oh, the peasant's say? fault. What can I say? Yeah. Um, right, Simo's question. Question to both of you. A day as pit crew in a Formula One team at a race of your choice or the same at MotoGP or top-notch hospitality, free food and drink also at F1 or MotoGP? Which would it be? Well, I'm a big F1 fan. Are you? Yeah, well, I go, every year I go out to what's the last race of the season in Abu Dhabi, although not this year. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I love, I love F1. Um, so F1 all day long, all day. Would, would, it, would it be pit crew or <clears throat> hospital? Oh, shit. Um I don't know. Because it, I, I do the pit crew. Because yeah, because the hospitality because Cause he, he's done the hospitality. <laughs> now the hospitality you can literally go to one of the hotels and it is amazing. Yeah. You you can literally go to the hotel over the literally just outside the track and there's parties going on. And it's just yeah. I do the um I do the pit crew because you can get the you can get the hospitality elsewhere. <laughs> and I have <I'm> um, that. <laughs> I would I would do MotoGP because I'm yeah. I'm afraid F1 just bores me I, I don't I don't yeah. get it I would do MotoGP <clears throat> and I would love to do the hot the hospitality but I think because I'm technically inept mechanically inept it would be a bit of a laugh to try and be in the pit crew <laughs> even if it's just making them tea I don't know but yeah I think I would probably hey, somebody's go going to do it exactly pit crew MotoGP just for just for a giggle. I do, I do, I, I watch the MotoGP as well, but because I've actually, I've, uh, I've, I've never been to a GP uh, right? I've been to uh, BSB, but I haven't been to GP. Have you not? No, no, never. No, it's, uh, but the Formula One, I, but for me, the Formula One, I get, I get the boring bit. I get the procession laps and all that. Yeah. But I like, I, when I watch the Formula One on TV, 
it's mainly the build up and the talking, the right. analysis yeah, yeah. before and afterwards. The race, more often enough, I fell asleep or I, you know, I've, I've skipped through it. It's the build up and the talking, you know. That's the I, bit that I like I like the most of. But I think what what is impressive to me about the Formula One is just the 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 actual speed of those cars. Right. Like the acceleration and how fast yeah. they corner. It is yeah. just insane. Because you think MotoGP bikes are quick, and they just get obliterated by Formula One, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh hell yeah, yeah, definitely. But the um, the noise, it's a lot quieter now than it used to be. But yeah. So me and me and my son Ash got Silverstone, and oh my God, we didn't take earplugs. My God, they give you them when you walk through the gates. The yeah. huge buckets of earplugs, um, and you needed them then. Now, now you don't. I mean, they've slightly changed them again, the noise. But, um, yeah, it's a lot quieter now than it used to be. But it's they, went still... down an en- they went down yeah. an engine size, didn't they? Oh, it's a 1. 1. 1.6 engine. That's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. it's nuts. Yeah, nuts, <laughs> actually, nuts, yeah. But, yeah, but the, actually, the experience, especially that last race of the, the season, man, it's, a, it's just mega. It's just, it's a spectacle. Have, it's have awesome. you done Monaco? Have you been to Monaco? Uh, no, 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 no. I've only ever done Civilston and Abu Dhabi. That's it. I'll have okay. done. Yeah, I've done Abu Dhabi a few times now. And Monaco's just... impressive. Like I've never been for Formula One, but I've I've gone on the bike, and then obviously we've right. done a lap of the yeah, yeah. The, the street but circuit. It's, it's, when it's it's quite up and down in it, Monaco. It's it like is, man. It is. It's, it's yeah. literally. It's not even like a big dual carriageways type mm. road. It is literally like a little road going through the town. Yeah. No wonder no one can overtake there, because because yeah. like, how do you physically how do you get two cars alongside each other? Yeah, <laughs> Never exactly. mind at one hundred and sixty yeah. odd mile an hour or whatever they do. I, 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 it'd be good if they did that London one. That would be mega. Oh. If they did London, yeah, that would be awesome. I am um, back in. I think it was about two thousand and four. London did a procession, like, didn't it? Yeah, they did a session yeah. along Regent. I think it was Regent Street, Oxford Street, all around there. So they just had the Formula One cars just do some parade, like laps, really, because I think London was trying to go. Look, we can yeah. we can do a, an F one here, and it was the you're talking about volume. Oh my god, we didn't have any ear protection at all, and it was painful. It was yeah. so loud. When Never mind that? with the crowd. When was that? Two thousand and four, I think. Oh yeah, it will have been yeah before they got before the PC brigade got involved yeah yeah because yeah. And, it, and it all kicked off the, it, all the office workers were coming out of their offices and literally like, if they had balconies they'd all be on the balcony looking down at the street drinking beers and watching but I remember there was a load of building works being done on Regent Street so there was scaffolding all up like where the Apple shop is and Hamleys and everything like that so obviously everyone just came out and stood on the scaffolding and some of the scaffolding broke. So it's like there was massive, yeah, there was massive like crowd issues going on and crushing, and it all went a bit tasty for a while. <laughs> so no wonder it hasn't happened then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it just it would have been amazing. It would have been yeah. absolutely amazing to have that in London. But the logistics of it, like shutting well, down such a huge area of London, yeah. especially where it, they wanted it, yeah, nightmare. Yeah, to make it secure as well, that's got to be a myth. Emission. Nowadays, yeah, nowadays, sadly, yeah, 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 it's something that you have to think about. Yeah. Right, next question. Paul Soares, question for Pete. You're obviously smoking some really good weed. Where do you buy it? <laughs> where, where am I what? Oh, the, uh, oh, the, ice um, cre- the ice cream man. The ice cream, oh yeah, always the ice cream man. That was in Glasgow, <laughs> wasn't it? The ice cream wars, yeah. Um, yeah. Now he says, seriously, thanks very much for all, for all the laughs through your questions, so... Cheers, Paul. I like it. And cheers, Pete. Roger White, to you both. With it being pantomime season and Aladdin is a typical Christmas show, you've just found a real life genie lamp. What are your three wishes and why? Everyone's oh, trying shit. to out Pete Pete here. Yeah. Three wishes from a genie. What are they and why? Oh mate, you might have to go first for this. Right. Um You do what you do one, I'll do one. Right. I'll 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 do a really materialistic selfish first one and that would be I would like to win the lottery but at about ooh I would say I would say I would want at least 20 mil. 
And with that, <laughs> I would. And with that, I would pay Balls off. Out. Yeah, I'd pay off all my friends and family mortgages. So everyone's now mortgage free. I'd give. Um, There's your um, twenty million gone. Well, yeah. Hence why we need fifty. Um, so that'll be. Everyone, everyone I know and uh, you know I love as as family and friends, they'd all be mortgage free, and then I would give my boy and my immediate family some nice little nest eggs, set everybody up, and then uh, I'd make sure Nikki and I had a, a really nice place, place of your dreams, and then that would be it. And then I would just carry on doing what I'm doing, living the dream. No, no financial worries. That's all taken care of, because the mortgage is the biggest for me. The mortgage is the biggest outer, isn't it? So once yeah. that's taken care of, you're like, right. Yeah. Well, the other two, I'll need to think about. Yeah. Go on then. Ooh, the other two. Um, you've gone. You've gone quiet there, mate. Are you there? I'm here. Are you there? You there? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Just went right, off a cool. little bit. Yeah. No worries. I think. Um, Ooh, I, I'm going to try and squeeze this into one wish, but I would, I would <laughs> like to have Je- Gemma Atkinson and Noel Best. <laughs> I'd like their company for a while. That would be, that would be very pleasant. Okay. <laughs> no, ah, uh, oh, no Best. Sorry, now I get it. Yeah. Yeah, no, no Best. Matt Best. Yeah. Um, you know, Black Rifle Coffee. Matt Best. Yeah. So his wife. Three Noel wishes. Best. That's it. Three wishes done. <laughs> uh, well, I could die a happy man then. That's fine. <laughs> right. Okay. What about you then? Uh, yeah. Obviously, fi- be, yeah. To be financially stable would be mega. To never have to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Just any financial decision they ever made. Just never to worry about that would be definitely option one whether that's winning the lottery or being successful or whatever mm-hmm. definitely three wishes shit health shit man it's got to be oh, it's, pointless, it's pointless being uh you well you you experienced it i've experienced it you know six years ago i was in i was in bad i was in bad shape with my health but, yeah uh, yeah the uh yeah, yeah just me i was backwards backwards gone mm. yeah. oh from yeah. all the years Three yeah. years yeah my knees yeah my back out they were talking about putting a cage in my spine and mm. fusing it and all sorts but mm. uh yeah so money health shit what's the third what would you do for third one happiness well you make your own happiness you make your own luck that's very true yeah uh, oh i don't know hello Just... mrs teapot uh, I'm okay, Hi, I'm still all set here. Pete says hello. Hi. The best bacon butties I've ever tasted in my <laughs> life. He, he says the best best bacon butties he's ever tasted. I made them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, you did. <laughs> well, nice I could have said I, I could have said she makes the best breakfast in the world, couldn't I? But that sounds <laughs> right. <laughs> you must be doing something right then, because she never makes me any. <laughs> um, oh, mate, you've... You keep freezing. Uh, no, you're uh, back. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, financial. Yeah, I'm a back. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, Financially you're back. Uh, stable. Uh, health. Yeah, health happening. It's got to be the. That's it. Once you've got them, what else do you need? Absolutely. Yes, yes, brother. Uh, I've already got right. the GS in the garage, so that's it. Best bike in the world. Best bike in the world, Pete. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anybody who tells you different is obviously don't have, haven't got a clue. They've either never ridden one or they're in denial, plainly. I'll give you however, lamb chops. Lamb chops. Case example. Uh, case in point. However, I very, very neatly, and I was so tempted, not the Multistrada, that was like, I couldn't. It was the KTM Super Venture. I, I love that so, bike. Oh, man. It was, it was so, so close. It was unbelievable. Yeah. It was the... Yeah, just yeah. It was it's so it's close. a proper it's a proper hooligan of a do it all bike. Yeah, that that yeah. Uh, it's 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 definitely got more grin factor than the GS for me, but it's just the package you get with the GS. That's why I I stuck with GS. Is just you know it's. I, I've heard you mention they this look a, after you. Yeah, I've heard you mention this a lot more often than not about the BMW and. The, the place I use is Cooper's in Sunderland, mm-hmm. and um, 
Glenn, I'll, I'll give him a plug, Glenn at Cooper's. Yeah, and I, I could not, I couldn't be happier. Mm. I, I literally come back from Toro, known after riding the 1250 again, you know, because I just needed to make my mind up. Because uh, I'd been out on the Africa Twin, I'd been out on the KTM. I'd, I'd had the multi strider for a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, and I just needed to, to know that it was definitely the one. And I, I messaged him, I think I was still out in Togo, I was sat by the pool, and I just sent a message, I just said... It's I'm... a tough life, isn't it? It's a tough <laughs> life. <laughs> hey, not the minute it's not. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um... So I messaged just say I'm on my way, this is what I want. And he just said, come in, we'll sort it out. And I literally, what he put on the table, I just said yes to. But I... I but I trusted him, and I mm. was ha- I was I was happy with what I got, and and the service, you know. Not only that, it's just what's happened in between from my last bike to this bike, and mm-hmm. um, I can't. For- when I came down to you, me and Ash had just been to Scotland for a, a long weekend. Yeah. Um, so the six hundred mile, had, um, I'd already done that in Scotland. So then I came down to you, and came back, and he said. Right, as long as you come back before twelve hundred mile, you know, no problem. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's just that bit of leeway and Absolutely. Sort of, but communication yeah. as well. He was like, "Yeah, no problem, Pete. No problem." And uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, was... I've 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 heard people. I've had people contact me and go, "Nah, that's rubbish. What you say about BMW? I my experience with BMWs, they are absolutely crap." And sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Just in the manner of which they they write that, I read it and I think, did you speak to you know the people you dealt with at the the Ooh. dealership l- like that? Maybe that's why yeah. you didn't get a particularly good service. It shouldn't matter. I know it shouldn't. No, it, we're it, all humans. It, it should. We're all humans. You should, it, if you day. treat somebody like shit, mm. why should you not be treated like shit back? You know. No, no, I. I I agree with that 100% totally but other people will be like well you know I'm the customer I'm always right I I can understand that but to the same extent I won't I won't go out my way to help somebody yeah. if they're talking to me in a way that yeah. I perceive as disrespectful Do you it's know what human I mean? nature like, yeah, yeah 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 okay I, I maybe won't be impolite back initially we'll probably get to that stage quite yeah. quick but <laughs> Yeah, I, I do. Uh, yeah, I do. Kind of think you know. You speak to people the way you expect to be spoken yeah. to, don't you? Yeah. See, I'm, I'm a I'm a pacifist. Is that the right word, pacifist? Where if somebody treats you bad, I just won't use. I just won't. I don't. Yeah. I don't worry about it. I just move on. I'll mm-hmm. just go elsewhere. So if yeah. I got a bad, if I got a bad, if BMW didn't, you know, offer me a coffee, sort of, hey, Pete, you know, recognise me or do anything like that. I might have been, I mean, we're at the KDN now, who knows, mm. but um, thankfully, Glenn at Cooper's, I can't, I can't speak highly enough for them. Mm. Grant and I haven't had a problem, you know, so yeah. everything's, everything's rosy at the minute, mm-hmm. touch wood. So. No, but I, I totally get what you said about that KTM Super Adventure, that, that, uh, I think that to me, that to me is like the ultimate grin adventure bike. Yeah. My, my mate Matt's got one and <clears throat> yeah. wow. Just well, what a machine! It, yeah, it's, conver- it's totally converted his riding. Well, that's that, so comfortable yeah, on it. Yeah, that route uh, me and Richie did. I'd, I'd done quite. I'd done a bit of it already with Simo and Gary oh, Hope. Yeah, yeah. Gary Hope, uh, another lad, uh, really nice lad, and he had a super adventure. And every time we hit a little bridge or a little hump in the road, he's up on his back wheel, <laughs> and I'm just I'm behind him going, oh. I wish I could do that because uh, my I was on my 850 at the time, my GS 850, and I loved that. By the way, I know you you're not keen, but I yeah, abs- you did. I just oh, I don't man, get it, man. I, I absolutely loved it. However, the front end was far too heavy, just so heavy, man, so I, soft, man. I I could throw that around. Yeah, I I went out with a two summers ago. Well, just after I bought it, I went out with a. Uh, the guy who buy all my off-road bikes from and kit from, he had a ex stunt riders bike, a MT09. All right, Kitt- yeah, yeah. Kitted out, it had everything done to it, like ex stunt riders bike. And me, it we were out with a few other lads, and we were scratching. And I was on my 850, 
and we were overtaken lads in full race kit, leathers and, <laughs> on the dirt roads. And when we got to the top, we got to Alston, where the where we stopped at that time. The cafe at the top had been burnt down. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a lovely. They were, road, the, the, they were literally looking at me, going, "What the hell? What happened there?" Just, <laughs> but I could, I could, I could. I'm not. I, I don't claim to be no sort of no Rossi or nothing, but it just gave me so much confidence. Because, mm. Well, you could use every bit of the power. Mm-hmm. You could use the whole bike. You could literally just spank it and it wouldn't bite you. It really yeah. wouldn't. You could literally just, you could fall it over. I, the front end was soft, but bloody I was it. like that on yeah. my on my first yes. I, I was like that. I just felt like I could do anything on mm. that bike. You know, I could literally lay it on its ear and keep the power down and it was beautiful. And I, well, that, that was one that I ended up having a crash on funnily <laughs> enough commuting. And, um, Not your fault, though. Well, uh, uh, no, that one wasn't. That was a young kid. Was uh, a young kid did a Yui in, in Deptford. Literally, he saw me coming, and then, like he even said, "Oh, I thought I'd make it." I was like, "Oh, great! Well, you oh, did yeah, it." <laughs> Cheers. Um, because he like stopped halfway across the road, and I thought, "Oh, he stopped, so carried on going," and he just <laughs> he just went again. I was like, oh, great! Um, but anyway, you know, I look back, it's things I could have learned from that for sure. But anyway, from then on, I've just got. I've got slower and slower and slower to the point now where I'm like, it's embarrassing now. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, but the, the, that 850, I know it's got mixed reviews and made in China and all that, but mm. I could literally just, I felt, it, it, I don't know, I could just use it all. You know, mm. an 850 is not a small, not a small motor. You know, it would motor on. It was, yeah, I know, exactly. it, it's, it's about the same. It's about the same brake horsepower as the Africa Twin, about ninety-five. Mm. So, oh, is it? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I had it. Um, I had the chip in it, but it was um, I had the Akapovic exhaust on it, so open that did free up the motor quite a bit. But actually, but mm. it was um, it was just the front end was too heavy. It was just, but um, I loved. I absolutely loved it. I, I haven't got a bad word to say about it. But it's, I, not, I it's, miss, not, it's not the 1250, that's the thing. No, God, no. I miss that full... Because I've always had the full acropolic yeah. system on my GSs, and I, I miss that. Mm, that, it, that 1250 will be an absolute weapon with yeah, the full yeah. system. I, oh. Yeah, I might I might look into it, but I, uh, we'll see. But, I mean, it's it's good enough without it. You know, it's, a, it's amazing. It, it is. Yeah. Of course it is, yeah. but... You know, it can be better, Pete. It can yeah, always be like, better. A bit louder. <laughs> bit yeah, well, Simo's just put the Atco over on his, uh, on his GS. But, uh, oh, has he? Yeah. Mm, yeah. It looks nice. Yeah. Nice, yeah. But, it's a uh, lot of money. I just, I can't, I can't uh, stretch that at the moment. But that's another thing about the dealer that I use again. I might get him in trouble here, but he phoned me up with, and I got, uh, on my last uh, uh, bike, he actually phoned me up. I was in the NEC at the time last um, November, was it anything? Yeah. Last November, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, I was yeah. there. And he, he lit the dealer for me up and goes, "Pete, we've got a um, Akapovic here. You can have it, brand new, half price." And I was like, "I'm on my way." Wow, just put it wow. aside. But that's, what a deal! Yeah, and uh, uh, between me and you and nobody else, <laughs> I had that on the bike for not quite a year. So I bought my one. So I probably had it on for seven, eight months, and I sold it on good old eBay for more than I paid for it. <laughs> well, don't worry. There's only about 60,000 odd people that listen, so you'll be all right. You'll be fine. <laughs> uh, so, but, um, yeah, so I, I, I had free Akapovic exhaust for best part of a year. <laughs> Happy days. Right, mate, we need to crack on. We've done about four questions so far in an hour. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this shit, is good going. No can, I go, can, about- I, can I go to the little boys' room? Of course you can, mate. Yeah, fill your boot. Well, don't fill you your boots, but yes. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I won't move. You don't believe this side of me. Yeah, uh, the uh, tunnel, uh, your uh, teapot hat. I can't find it. Teapot? Oh, the baseball cap? Yeah. I had it. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. I had it there. I thought, oh, bit of promotion. Which, which one did you get? That one? That's exactly it, yeah. That's, uh, that oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. <laughs> Oh. Hey. 
Right, I've just, uh, the postman's just been. The postman? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he left. Looks what he's left, yeah. Thanks very much, Paul. <laughs> Actually, you know, you should, you, you should hand that through the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's try that. Okay, let's, try right, that. Right, let's try that. Right, you ready? And this one's for you, Pete. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's mega. Fits like a glove. You know I don't edit this, so people are just going to be, why, why have you done that? <laughs> it won't be edited. Okay. <laughs> that dickhead um, on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but I like, I like your thinking, though. I always right, let's, let's crack on, get another one. Nut S. What if there were no police dogs? Which animal would you rather the police have trained? So rather than attack police dogs, attack, fill it in. Has he been smoking? <laughs> um, oh, right, okay then. So what about something small that could be spies, like a little mouse or something? I was thinking squirrels. Attack squirrels. Really? Because they're vicious little buggers. Are they? I've never encountered a squirrel. I've not had a fight with a squirrel, I will admit. <laughs> but... Yeah, I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going for mouse yeah it just uh surveillance mouse yeah how about that a surveillance mouse yeah <laughs> wow. yeah i do wonder where some people generally it's you generally it's you i i i wonder i think to myself where where is his mind when he comes up with these questions well, this, but this, it seems you're not alone mate it seems yeah, you're not alone well my god this is what's happened because you've put me on this little pedestal about obscure questions you did it you did bollocks. it with your questions bollocks but yeah uh, mm -hmm. but now everybody's trying to up, upmanship oh, yeah. sort of where now who said it recently? Somebody was disappointed. I can't remember with the question I asked. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. That was fairly recently, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. and I was like, bah. but you, I, I kid you not, it doesn't keep me awake at night, but sometimes I'm thinking, I wish I wish I didn't. Because some of these questions now we're getting. The most recent one that really got, I can't remember who said it, but it was, you had to sleep with. Uh, you had to sleep with you had two two options. You had uh, to sleep with your parents. No, you had to watch no. your parents having sex or sleep with them once. Oh blame it! I don't remember that one. Oh, what, was somebody it, asked that. I, w was it not the one that would you rather look at your dad or your mum's no, internet that, view? That was, was that you? That was mine. That was genius. <laughs> that was genius. <laughs> that was mine. Yeah. No, I, that is that was mine. But no, somebody put on about you had to. Have to have sex with your mum and dad once or watch them have sex for life. Wow. And it was kind of like, oh my days. That's wow. Like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even come up with that. That's like proper saw stuff, that is, isn't yeah, it? It's like, like, make yeah. that decision. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, even, I, even I cringed at that one. Right, next one. <laughs> Stuart Bailey. When the time comes, buried, cremated, or other? Ooh. Uh, Cremated? Are you? You're cremated. Oh uh, man. man, do not put me in a box in the ground. Mm. Do not. I do no, no chance. I quite like the thought of just being bollocks. No, just being part of the ground. I quite I've, like that. I've got an older brother who used to put the bed covers over me and sit oh, on top right. of me. Yeah. No man, no, no, no. My own yeah, you need to make sure I'm dead first, right enough. Uh, but, well, uh, no, just the thought of being claustrophobic in a no chance. No, my old, my brother's a twat. He was a twat. He still is, but no, no, just no chance. No. I had um, back about two thousand and three. I had a mate in in the old bill who who sadly sadly passed away from cancer within about four weeks of of finding out he had it. Oh. Literally just tore through him, and he was a lovely fella. This chap, really really nice lad. You know, like a heart of gold, almost like. He, he was almost too nice to be a copper. Do you know what I mean? Like one of those people. And um, he decided before he passed away that he wanted to be buried in a wicker, a wicker casket. And this was before it was certainly before I'd ever heard of any of this sort of 
you know, this thing, get buried in a wicker casket, and then rather than a tombstone, you have a tree. So you feed oh, the right. tree, and the tree grows. Oh, and, right. and it's it's always just stuck with me, and I thought, that's actually quite a... I quite like that, the old circle of life kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You're sort of feeding on something else, and off it goes. I don't know. I don't know if they'd if they'd get me in a wicker a wicker casket. I don't know if it would be strong enough. <laughs> I'd fall out the bloody thing. <laughs> you have to get the, the women's institute and get them all together and make it a big one. <laughs> yeah, a massive one. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no, but definitely commit me. I'd scatter Cremated. me. But yeah, the, um... where would you be? Okay, then where uh, would you be scattered? Do you know what? When me, me and Ash, me boy. We used to go to a place in Scarborough. It was a old military camp, and we used to go there regular trials ride. And it was, we had about fifty. Oh God, no! It was massive. It was like an old, old disused army barracks owned by the, um, the Scarborough Trials Club. And you, you just had a key, and you could go in and use the whole thing. You know, mm-hmm. there might be fifty other riders. You might not even cross each other's paths for hours. It was massive the place. We used to play there all weekend. I remember going there once and somebody had put a little memorial of the dad, the son, the dad, whatever it was. Um, and it just said on the memorial, you know, rest in peace. This is where he loved to be. Mm-hmm. Somewhere like that, you know, just somewhere, just there was, you know, probably during the, di- the week, there's nobody there. You're in the middle mm-hmm. of nowhere. You just got this, it was on a, like, there was a view, there was a beautiful view. Just somewhere like that, just somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, um, Hills of Spit, Southern Spit. Yeah, Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I remember growing up, like in in my teens to my very early 20s, I was just a rugby man through and through. I lived and breathed rugby. All I wanted to do was play for Scotland. And I I did did well. I I, I worked my way up through the schools and representative and I, I... I ended up trialing for Scotland, believe it or not, but I didn't. I didn't make it. I trialed with Jason White. I, I played oh, you know, the old Scottish captain. Yeah. I, I used to play against Jason at school level, and then we went through district level, rep level, and then we trialed for Scotland. He made it, and I didn't. <laughs> but all, all that time I was into my rugby, I was always, you know, when I go, I want to be cremated and scattered, at, you know, at one end of Murrayfield. That's where I want right. to be. But since I've sort of left rugby and got into bikes. I've never, I've never actually thought to myself, where do you want to go at the end of right, it? Right, okay. Well, I don't really know, actually. I haven't. The Picos. Yeah, maybe. Do you know? No, no, actually. As much as I love the Picos, it would still be the Highlands. I think I would yeah. still want to be scattered, yeah. like Glencoe or something. Oh just, man, just somewhere around there. Just stunning, beautiful. But my little trip mm. with Ash a couple of weeks ago, because again for me fiftieth. In fact, that's the only reason. Is that when it rains, it rains oh, like every second of every day. That one. My God, yeah, it, biblical. But it was <laughs> it was mega. But even even when we were coming through Glencore, I'm talking to Ash on the intercom, and I've said, Do you know what? It's if it if it had been a beautiful sunny day, you wouldn't see that waterfall as mm-hmm. as it is in. Mind you, I haven't said that. We literally caned it through. We <laughs> it's a beautiful it. road, isn't uh, it? Yeah. We were, we were staying at a hotel, um, a Best Western, you know, where the Green Welly? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just through the Green Welly. Where Tindrum. The train... Pardon? Tindrum. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we stayed at a Best West on the second day. We, we stayed there, um, but we just hurled it. We just hurled our ass to get there because, oh, man, it was probably blown 90. 90 mile an hour and just sad wow. and yeah, it's just <laughs> but uh, yeah, and, uh, the road was shut leading to it. Oh no, that was the next day after we came out of there because the the river, the the lock, it all, the road was probably about three foot deep. It, uh, it was closed, but we still went through it. But yeah, it was uh... <laughs> long way around. Woo! Ah. But I saw that. The, we looked on the sat to see how far it was around. It was a it was a hellish. Uh, it catches it people out that. Yeah. It catches people out up there. They think, oh, I'll just take this side road. And you're like, you know, it's a 40 mile detour. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, I think this one was even more. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was if a long there way is out. a road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, that was a good trip. All organised by my boy for my 40th. Yeah, for my 50th, it was. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I did, yeah I did, it was mega. Yeah. My my son and I have, have spoke about this, of, of going on a bit of a road trip together again. Because when he was about 10 or 11, 
before I before I did my trip, I took him on the back of my Jixer Thou that I had at the time, and we did like a ten day or two week actually road trip all around Scotland on the bike because I wanted I wanted to sort of a ten day introduce trip. It. Pardon? You say ten day trip. About two weeks, actually, all around wow. Scotland. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to introduce him to sort of a bike trip and the sort of thing that I would be getting up to, really. So I took him away, and, and he was okay on that. You know, at the end of it, he really enjoyed it. And he said, you know, next year, can we go somewhere else, Dad, next year? So I said, okay, well, he was right into his parkour, you know, the oh, yeah, yeah. free-running yeah, thing. Yeah. So um, he said, could we, could we, there's a parkour monument, like south of Paris, it's like the home of parkour, could we go right. there? So I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we end up doing like a, a like a 10 day, sort of two week Euro road trip this time. And the poor bugger was in tatters, because he was like a year older, he was just that bit bigger, oh, right, on okay. the back of the, the Jixar. Oh man, poor, poor lad. How old poor was he lad. then? He'd been about 12. Oh, was he? Mate maybe 13 by that point right. yeah yeah but you know he's 23 now and we we speak about it and um you know he he, he actually brought it up to me he said I'd, i would love to go on a bit of a road trip around scotland again with you you know whether he's in a car because he's not driving yet but he's doing his, his lessons so whether he jumps in, in a car and a van and he'll Man, drive and i'll be on the bike or he just him, comes on the back of the, the gs well, just get him through his cbt could do a one yeah. five trip I know, I know. That would be that would be great. I would love to do something like that. Because you know he's I, a he's a professional filmmaker as well. Yeah, man, oh, so I would, that video I did with that, that that lady that um, man. Yeah, mega yeah. brilliant. Yeah, really. Yeah, was, yeah. proud dad uh, moment that was. Yeah, no, it was good. But yeah, yeah, that um, that big little adventure. <laughs> uh, don't don't tell Kath this, but uh, I went to go buy a one two five. That very. Weekend after I watched it, did you? Oh man, yeah. I went what, to go a cop? Buy... No, I went to go buy. Uh, um... Oh, me, I was showing Richie what it was. I can't remember what the hell it was now. Um, it's like some sort of Chinese make, but it's a uh, like a cafe racer style. All right, uh, and it's it, oh, it looks the business. Absolutely looks mega. And I physically went to go uh, and buy it without testing. In fact, the guy who I buy my like, road dirt bikes off, he said he'd be, he said. He could he could buy it through his dealer network, yeah. And I went, yeah, right, fine, I'll have one. Uh, anyway, the, so when I went to go, I actually went, wanted to go sit on it beforehand, uh, before I sort of pulled the trigger to buy it. Um, and the, the garage, for some reason, on a Saturday was closed. That that the, the, the closest one to me. It's so, a sign. It's yeah, a sign. Well, I'd, actually, that very next a couple of days later, I needed a new fork and truck for the warehouse. So unfortunately. The money went on that, so um, they sell a beat. It's not meant to be, mate. Life but, has uh, life has a habit of yeah. of of doing these things. I find, you know, but the, you, you, but the the minute you're coming up north on a big little adventure part two in the yeah. North Yorkshire Moors, there'll be one in the garage because I'm coming. Nah. <laughs> Right. Okay then. Well, that that's. I'd love to say it's been really popular, but. The views again. The views aren't oh, man. massive. It's yeah. the, the views aren't huge, yeah, but the people just, that have watched yeah. it have absolutely loved it. No. It's, it's like the bike versus plane. Those I, that bother to watch love it. I went. I went out. I went out uh, last weekend, and I just went out on my own, and I just went exploring. There's a few. There's a regular route I take, and there's a few places I go, and I think, where does that go? So every now and again, mm. I'll just I'll just go, just see where. Sometimes it leads to a a farm track covered in bloody cow shit, but I don't, I love it. Um, and there was two lads out there on little one, two fives, or both with L plates on two lads together. Mm -hmm. Just, you could just tell they were loving it. They're just yeah. loving it. Probably just got the CBT loving it. And I just went, ah, oh. cause these, the bikes that we've got are brilliant. Aren't they? They'll do everything, but sometimes they're too much out there. They just, you just want something. Yeah, it's it's weird. I I was very much thinking that's it. I'm a I'm a little bike convert now. That's it. And then Sinis were bringing out this T380, oh, the Terrain yeah, 380 yeah. CC. And in my head, I was thinking that's it. That's the answer. That that is the bike to have. There's, 
that's the one you need because I had such fun on this on the the one two five version. I just thought to myself, put a th- you know double the CC of that, and that is going to be a fantastic machine. So I couldn't wait. They've they've gave me brand new out the box two miles on the clock the Sinus T three eighty. I took it for the first ride a week or so ago, and I hate I hate to say this before the video comes out, but it left me flat. Did it disappoint? It just, yeah. Did you? It, it, just, it must be, be it must be better, but you were just not no. enough. Really? No. Yeah, it's it's two hundred kilograms rather than one hundred and fifty kilograms. So right, it's fifty okay. kilograms heavier, and it's got uh, what one hundred and thirty? No, hang on. What was it? One two five before five thirty fifty five one hundred and two hundred and fifty five cc more. Right. So you think to yourself, well, it should have a bit more punch, but it just didn't. It just it it didn't. The one two five put a massive smile on my face the whole time. This one, I find myself going, oh, I wish I had a bit more punch. Yeah. And I never had that with the 125s. Mm. It's weird that you, you you step up a little bit in CC and all of a sudden that short, the shortcomings in the punch and the grunt, they're there again. I don't know why, but... It, it must be really restricted. It must be. I don't be. know. A 300cc, I, I mean, I've you know, dirt bikes. You know, motocross bikes and well, it's, it's bikes got that thirty, are, and they can mortar. I think it's got thirty-five newton meters of torque, and I think it had forty or fifty. It's an it's A two. You can ride it on an A two license, whatever that is, but it's got thirty-five newton meters of torque, and it's I think it's forty or fifty brake horsepower, is what it's got. Right. So you know, there's there's plenty of big bikes out there with similar sort of yeah. Um, it's got to be restricted like hell. It must be. Must I suppose it must be? If it's A two, then it must have a restrictor on it. You must be able to take it, that it off. Must have. But yeah, it's just yeah. I was out again on I it today. It. I took it to a hospital, and it it was it was better today. I think more because I knew what to expect. So I hadn't I'd built this three eighty up yeah. to such a level, mm. and and it just sort of didn't it didn't reach it for me. So I'm going to do more Where miles. Where does extra weight come from then? I don't know because it actually feels more cramped than the one two five version. Right. Okay. Somehow. Is it a similar type? Is it a similar model? Is it? Oh, the trains it's a, that they sort of duo one with it. Yeah, it's basically their GS. It's in the train, is that one? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's just an adventure yeah. bike. It's the one Paul and Holly, the rider yeah. from the riding from reality couple. They took the one two five terrains on the Mongol Rally to to Mongolia. Yeah. And they've yeah. they've actually Paul's had the new. He's had to prototype new 380 for quite a while now. He's been spanking it up and down lanes, right. off roading and stuff on it. But he's not had the the actual official. He's not got the official one that's been launched. He's had their their prototype to tweak and stuff. So I'm, I might have a little chat with him and see what the actual differences are. But it, it does feel it feels for me it feels more cramped than the 125 did somehow. Maybe that's just in my head, but it, yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a letdown, but. Well, my my beautiful wife uh, doesn't watch a lot of the bike stuff that I do. Mm-hmm. But that Sinister Terrain, the one you did, she sat and watched it. Did she? And she said to me, That'll be for Rich. I want that bike. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she, no, she, uh, she uh, sat and watched that Sinister Terrain bit that you did. And she said, I want that bike. So uh, I had every intention of going, yeah, because she, she passed her. Um, Granted, it's laps now, but she passed her CBT years ago. Uh-huh. She's she's had a bike before, uh, so I was like, "Yeah, we'll go get you. I'll, we'll we'll get it. We'll go get you one." Well, the next morning, she's like, "Oh, scratch that! I'm not getting a oh. bike." So it was clearly the wine that was talking. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that uh, yeah that, uh, that that's it. she doesn't watch a lot of this stuff that I do. But uh, she yeah she watched that and yeah. Uh, you nearly we nearly had a combo nearly. Yeah, or a spoil, or a or a spoil spot. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do wonder about that because my my wife Nikki, she um she did her CBT a few years ago, and part of me was like, oh, be, it'll be great to get her out on the bikes as well, especially if she develops a love for it like I do or I have. Yeah. It would be cool to go away and do stuff, but then the other part of me was going. 
this is this is my time. This is this is my little yeah. world. This, <laughs> but as it was, you know, she she never did anything after she passed it, so it's run out now. But no, I think the know, beauty of it is when because when you're out riding, when you're on your own or your group of lads, you see stuff, you witness things, and it's a mega. Yeah, yeah. and you want to experience, you want to share it. Share it, yeah. But but only. <laughs> It's better in the thought than reality sometimes. <laughs> I, I, I'm with you, brother. I get it. I get it. Absolutely, I get it. I do love my wife. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say right, that. Now... She'll, she'll be watching this. Will she? <laughs> I can't. She will do. Oh, she, oh, yeah. No, she's not. They're in the other room. <laughs> right. Bob Holly. Next question. Hello from Georgia, the one above Florida. How you doing, Bob? Oh, wow. Hope all... Hope all is well on the other side of the pond. This has been a topic for discussion stateside for a while now. Why do you think it's so hard to get the younger crowd into riding? Is it o- is it the overprotective mums, the licensing process, or the price of insurance and bikes these days? Over here, it seems like all folks over f- only folks over forty riding now. Same oh, here, man. man. Same yeah, here, man. man. Yeah, man. All of the things that he said there the truth, the insurance, the overprotective. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we've wrapped our kids in cotton wool, haven't we? That's, a, that's a bit, one of the biggest problems. I think so. Um, it's a genuine we, worry for the industry. Is, is that, you know, effect of the, the consumer market, the market yeah. for bikes is just getting older and older. And Yeah. No, it's, it's frightening. In a lot of sectors, it, it, it really is. It's a... Uh, God, God knows. I think... If it, if we all lived in cities, it should be promoted more for the community. It, it, mm-hmm. You know, without a doubt, it should be. It, it should be a. You go to well, you look. You go on the continent. I mean, biking is so openly, you know, it's embraced, isn't it? Absolutely. But it, but for some reason here, you are kind of you're like a rebel, aren't you? If it's demonised here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. But, and um, not even in like a a cool way. No, it's, yeah. It's like you're the Antichrist. Yeah, no, yeah, no, true, yeah, it is. But uh, I don't know whether it, the only way they can do it is sort of make it more of a like commute. But but that's going the other way because more and more people are working from home. And no, yeah, no, so they are. Even that's, um, you know, it's they're not even promoting people to go to work lately. You know, it's more work from home if you can. So. Yeah, the, the, certainly mm. down here in you know London. Why, uh, in terms of London, there seem to be a lot more people starting to get smaller CC bikes to commute. Yeah, and they were you know I, I get comments and messages from people that were like you know I'd never never been a biker, never been into biking, started working in the city, fed up of the traffic, fed up of public transport, thought I'd get myself a little bike, and oh my god. I can see what the attraction is. I'm looking for my first big bike, you know, and you could see that progression, that step. Well, as you said, a lot of people are now, and a lot of companies now are realizing, oh, we don't need offices in the city. You can work from home. So you lose that. That's another another avenue to get people into our little world now, isn't it? Yeah. How do we we attract them? Yeah. Listen to your conversation again with Ben uh, last week. Um, I think it was bit. I think it was a conversation you had, but I didn't realise that the sales of, for say for Honda, for instance, they sell more. Was it they sell more grub, uh, groms in a Cubs. day? Is it cubs or groms in a mm. day than they sell CV thousands in a year or something? Uh, like, Sean Sean Pope said that. Was that yeah. yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. The Southeast Asian market. I mean, uh, it it swamps the Western world market yeah. for people like Honda. Yeah. You know, and the, the the big Japanese manufacturers, they're not worried about selling a couple of a handful of sports bikes to the UK or the states because, you know, they're selling hundreds of thousands of units yeah. out in Southeast Asia. You know, that's that's where they're making their money, really. It does put it in a perspective a lot, doesn't it? It, it certainly opened my eyes because, mm. yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Fine and I suppose. I'm. I'm actually. I'm hoping to get um, John Hogan. You know from Superbike Mag. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, he, he now does. I think it's Bike World. He does now. But um, I'm hoping to get him on the podcast actually to have a. You know, and, and we'll have a good chat about 
where we're at now and how can we change things and stuff because yeah. it's it's definitely it's definitely a prominent issue which has to be addressed yeah otherwise it's going to die out isn't it it is but this the whole youtube thing that obviously like yourself could do it and the tmf and richie and you know chops mm. and that you know that's obviously getting out there and promoting it more than i never mm. i never buy a magazine no. never buy a bike magazine so you know this is where i get my information from Mm-hmm. YouTube, YouTube, you know, and, uh, you know, I find out what what's new, what's happening. I don't, yeah. I don't, I certainly don't buy a magazine anymore. And Not on the same, it. Yeah, and you certainly won't see an advert on the telly for for bikes. So, no. Yeah. yeah, no, that's true. And, and it does seem to be that. <clears throat> so maybe well, I suppose it is. It is getting there on YouTube, but on other social media, Instagram in particular. I can definitely see a younger market starting to come through. And by younger, I'm, I'm meaning like your late 20s into your 30s, that right. sort of market. They're now starting to come through. You yeah. know, there's there's some really good channels out there. Legit London, Lean Tuck Twist. You've got uh, Chronicles of Claudia, username Kate. Yeah. Uh, oh, blimey. God, there's so many of them out there. Um Oh, who's, who's who's Ruby? Is it Ruby Rides? You know, there's, okay. there's there's quite a lot actually of the the lassies all coming through, particularly yeah. on Instagram. Mostly the the good looking lassies we all want to look well, at. Well, Vanessa, good to hear. I mean, Vanessa, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's yeah. she's very very socially savvy, very yeah. socially savvy. Well, I, I do uh, I follow her content because she does a lot of off roady stuff, which obviously mm. I enjoy. But um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. I just have to. I look at my demographic and my, even my social friends. None of them, none of them are in the bikes. Yeah, same. None, well, not, no, no. Yeah. That's that. That's that's lies. Now, yeah. pretty much they all are. Before, right. nah. Before yeah. I got into bikes, nobody yeah. was. And yeah. then there was a handful of friends came with me onto bikes as soon as right. I passed my test yeah. and I started to turn up at the house in a bike all of a sudden my two mates Turner and Woody they went and did their direct access and then the three of us uh, got another mate in and then we've met other people through the biking world you know yeah. it's just so now we're surrounded by bikers yeah well I've surrounded myself with bikers but my the people I grew up with mm. you know I've got same I've got yeah. you know one you know amazing friend who's like he um, he's got he's got the uh, multi strada you know he he likes his bike but he's not into bikes he's, he owns a mm-hmm. bike yeah yeah, uh, yeah I've got one of my neighbours over the way there he's he's into bikes but he's you know, you know the thought of him going on a tour it just no oh. no got the calf if you want but, uh, that that's something I love about doing my my trips is when you take. I mean, you get you get people coming away with you who are seasoned tourers, seasoned travellers, and they just want to come away for the crack. They've seen the vids and they want to laugh. Fine. Then you get other people who have never been outside. You know, like you said, they've never been further than their local calf. Yeah. But they've watched the vids. They've decided, I fa- this looks a giggle. I fancy trying this. And I love to be part of that that wow moment. You know when they come yeah, off, yeah, like yeah. for the Picos, you come off the ferry at Santander and 10 minutes after that, you're bang, you're starting in the, you start working your way up into the mountains and through the valleys and you can just see in that first two or three hours by the time you get to the hotel that night, the, the minds are just blown and they're <laughs> yeah. like, life has changed. Life yeah. has changed now and you're yeah. like, welcome. welcome. Welcome to the brotherhood. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I love being part of that. It's great. Yeah. It's, um, no, I, I, I do. I, I, I found out that I'm a destination rider. Mm-hmm. If I, if when I go out on a weekend and I've got to plot my route and find out, Cali Water obviously helps. But mm-hmm. you plot your route and you you come you come back. I'm not all about that. I like to go somewhere, to come back. Now that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean it doesn't matter if it's Scotland or London. That's yeah. fine. But I do prefer having a destination do you? rather than just a. But on the other hand. You can't be just ending up somewhere, and yeah. But uh, I do. Yeah. I, I think I do prefer riding with people and experiencing it and sharing it. I think I prefer that. But but more often than enough, I'm just I just out exploring my own, which I'm perfectly happy doing. But yeah, uh, yeah. It's um, I, I used to I used to be all about. I was a destination rider, and it had to be the farthest destination. 
You know, mm. it's like when Where we can started. I get to? Yeah, it's like yeah. Well, you know, 300 mile, 400 mile. No, 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 no. Six, 700 miles. I want an 18 hour day. Let's go as far as we can. And that is totally flipped round now. And I'm much happier doing 100, 120 miles. If it's tight, twisty yeah, mountain yeah, stuff, yeah. you can stop, you can have a laugh, you can enjoy yourself, get off the bike and take some pictures and veg. You can just chill. And I'm just much more about I'm much more about the journey now rather Ooh. than I, I couldn't care if I didn't know where I was going anymore. I just keep going and when I want to stop, I'll stop and that'll do me. I'm I'm perfectly happy with doing that now. Yeah, which, which it's weird, isn't it? How your, yeah, your it tastes is, yeah. change. Yeah, Rich has got this cafe. I don't know if you, you well, you will have heard of it. It's the Grindelwald Cafe. It's like yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So every now and again on a Sunday, I'll get up at seven. Well, leave at seven. Two hours, bang, motorway, all the way there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'll get there for nine. But once I'm there and I'm a chat now, I'll spend five, six hours getting home. Nice. But it's just, um, once I'm there, that, that's it, I'm fine. I've, yeah, I've arrived. But to get home, I do not want to sit on that motorway again on the way home. Mm. Just I will take every other route possible to get home. Yeah, but um, all day, all night, if I have to. But uh, I don't mind getting there. But I don't. I don't want to do the same coming back. No, 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 same. Mm. Motorways have got a time and a place, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Like you said, when you need to eat mileage and you've got time constraints, motorways yeah. do the job, don't they? But yeah, since to... I found that Cali Moto, I like I like nothing more than either hitting a random route or, you know, just wherever I am, whacking home. Yeah, both plot me a route. You know, you know what Cali Moto is like. Sometimes yeah. it takes you down those little tracks, oh, and you're like, yeah. "My God, this is a goat track." But sometimes you just find yourself, you find yourself in places, don't you, that are literally a couple of miles from your house, and you're like, "I never knew this existed." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess because I've explored this area where I live a lot over the years, hmm. I look, I look at it where it's taking me, and go, "What the hell is it doing?" Go, doesn't I don't want to go down right. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the way I use Cali Moto a lot now is going, take me there, and then take me there, and then take me there. Right. And then I don't mind that. But but if I just put, like, if I put 200 mile in, southwest, southeast, or, like, it'll take me where I, I really, sometimes I don't want to go and I've, nah, you don't want to be. Yeah, that's, there. yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't know, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I admit that. There, there have been a few times initially when i first started using it especially around here in kent because i'd never i'd never explored kent even though i lived here for three or four years i'd never really explored it so everything was new but now it tends to send me down the same kind of because obviously the algorithm identifies set routes doesn't it so it it sends you down these roads and, and once you've been down them you're like okay i know like you said i know where this is going just i want something else give me something else give me yeah. something else mm. But yeah, so the last few tips like that when Richie came and you, if I had a plot of the route, it wouldn't have t- it wouldn't have went where I wanted it to go because mm. I've explored some bits now. You know, we had to open farm gates. You know, and that's what I wanted. I wanted it yeah, to do yeah. that. But um, so I, the way I plotted it, I knew. So I put destinations. I went there, 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 and there. But I altered it a little bit. Um, but sometimes. Um, you go, I don't want to go that way. You don't, mm-hmm. don't take me that way. And I'll look at it and go, I did it the other weekend. I, uh, I plotted, I went, right, so 200 mile uh, southwest. And it took me, like, oh, God, don't take me all the way down there. You're taking me on an air road for half an hour. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, um, <laughs> so I, I just went, destination, destination. It was absolutely fine. It's beauty. I do, I do yeah. like it, yeah. Yeah, it, it 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 fills that little void, doesn't it? When yeah. you've not, if you don't, if you find yourself somewhere new, you don't know where you're riding. Yeah. Just whack it in there, both random ride. Yeah. See where we go. I well, use it for a lot of my test rides and stuff. So yeah, well, the, the case in point was when we the, the route that I took Mitch on. I knew the route up to Keel the Forest and through Keel the Forest. I knew exactly where we were going there, but yeah. from there to over to Holy Island, I didn't know. I didn't know the route. I knew where I wanted to be. But to get from A to B, I didn't know. Yeah, I'd done another route before, but so I've typed it. It took us on this amazing, I mean it, amazing road. It, the, the, it's it's not on the route hard for 
10 seconds on Richard's route, we were on it for a good hour at least. And I bet, I think we, we passed two cars, you know, and wow. it was, yeah, it was, it was mega. It was beautiful as well. It was um, going past, you know, it was, it was fantastic. That, uh, that vid, that vid of Riches, the one that starts with the drone shot oh, when you, t- you guys are on the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's I, that that looked amazing. I've yeah. never seen that part of this country. Man, that's nuts. Uh, I've well, never seen it. I've told you, you, you're more than welcome to come. Well, up, I'm there. Come up, as soon yeah. as I can, I'll be yeah. there. I promise. Man, you. just 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 come up any any time. Uh, January, I'm there. Yeah. Well, mate, mate, come up. I'll ride, I'll ride all year round. So Good man. you come up and uh, we'll um, we'll go. I'll. I'll, I'll I'll either take you on the same route or I'll adapt it. But um, Megan, if we, we go even... off road, I'm going to cry on you. Just be aware of that. Well, that's the funny like thing. A is... little girl. <laughs> when when Rich is going on about saying you don't want to go on that ten mile trek across the moor, hmm. the only reason I didn't want to do it because the route around it is beautiful. Right. It is stunning, it, and it stops off at two points and one of them was a really nice pub we could have had a mega dinner at like a, 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 our lunch there mm. it would have been beautiful and I had that planned but he was itching to get that thing off road he, he was itching yeah, yeah. and you know I, I, I love it myself so I wasn't I wasn't kicking up my fuss so uh, yeah, he, he's really bonded well you really bonded with that Africa twin didn't he he absolutely loves loved it. loved it absolutely yeah. loves it it's weird that you, you seem to be. I think the GS is like that as well. It's it's a bike you either totally yeah. love, and and for you it's like this is it. This is the pinnacle. Yeah. Or you just don't quite get it. And and. But he also uh, knows it's yeah. not as good as the GS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rich. Rich will admit that the GS is a good bike. Lamb chops better in in public. Better. Well, yeah, we know that. Lamb chops in public, lamb chops will not admit it. Yeah. Out of public, out of the public ears and eyes, he's like, the day will come when I'll have one, but I'm just not ready to go there. Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like, yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 it's, it's got an unfair stigma. And you call it tractor doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I always, I'm always doing that. You know? yeah, but, uh, I, I like it. Yeah. I like doing the track days on it because yeah. it's. Oh, you know, it's a man. bloody capable bike, that. Really capable yeah. bike. Yeah. Again, going back to Tom, but me and Linda, we proper, we were scratching, you know. Well, you, mm. You've done it, haven't you? You've been there and done it. Yeah. It's, um, you know, we were, you know, we were going so in 45 degree heat, mind you. <laughs> Honest, man. Wait till you go to Morocco, man. Some of the roads yeah. in Morocco are like GP standard. They are yeah. fantastic. Some of them, some of them are worse than some of the UK off-road stuff, but... Some of the roads are the Tizzy and Chica Pass. Oh, he's bound to take plan, you on that. I don't plan on spending much time on time in Morocco. You've got to do Tizzy and Chica up in the Atlas Mountains. <laughs> that's you that, that's over the cafe at the top when you come down yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mate, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. I know. Go back and uh, our mate Simo. He's um, him, he's doing next year. He hasn't invited me, by the way, but he's, he's doing it. But you're going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't know it. I'm just going to turn yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, Simo's a good boy. You'll probably do it. Ah, oh, yeah, he's a great guy, yeah. But... <laughs> um, Bob, Bob, apologies. I think we've answered your question, mate. Um, what can we do to get youngsters in? It's just... Yeah, shit, yeah. That's the, that's the, that's the million-dollar question. Um, just got to make it trendy. To be... But it's, it's weird, though, isn't it? Because, as you said, in, in Europe, in Europe, biking is very much... It's very much an accepted thing for the oh. youth. You know, people just, they get on mopeds and for mopeds they've got smaller bikes and then they go into bigger bikes and blah, 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 blah. Well, in, in Spain, I don't think it is, I don't think it still is, but it used to be. If you lived in rural Spain and you had to go to school, a 13-year-old, you were allowed to ride a moped to school. Yeah, because you see them, don't you? I don't yeah, think they've I, even got lids on half the yeah, time. Yeah, th- I'm not too sure if they, that. I think they might have... <laughs> Change that now. I think the right. yeah, I think the yeah, the Green Brigade have got involved, but right. um, but yeah, it, but uh, yeah, it used to be that if they lived rural, they could they could mm. ride ride the scooters to school. But like I say, I, I think, think it's changed. F- over here in the UK, it's well, I mean, the, the testing situation is ridiculous. So I I, I under I, I understand the reasoning behind it, the logic behind it, as in, you know. It's like a tiered system when you're young because 
bikes can potentially be very dangerous, but so can cars. Yeah, you can pass a car uh, um, license at 17, and if you've got the money, you can go and buy an R8, you know, yeah. an R8, jump in it, and off you go. Yeah. So what's the difference? What is the difference? Yeah. It's, I, I just kind of think, if you're that mentality that you're going to, having no experience of riding a bike, you're going to jump on a 1,000cc sports bike and twist the throttle, then for me, it's Darwin. You know, yeah, it's just yeah, a Darwin yeah, moment. 100%. Bye-bye. Yeah, Ta-ta. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's your own stupid fault. Yeah, definitely. But how many people are going to do that, realistically? You know, yeah. how many people jump on a bike and just go, wah, unless you're five? Yeah, you understand consequence surely by 17 yeah. 18 years of yeah. age you understand action have consequences so i think that needs to be addressed and i think the insurance is just insane insurance is just ridiculous but there's a reason it is isn't it it's yeah you know it's got to be paid for i, I mean even even our age the insurance <sighs> god i mean i i jumped from my 850 to the 1250 and my insurance that i was with um, oh my god, it was. It, I went to B Motor in the end. I, I went, I can't remember who I was with, but I phoned B Motor and spoke to them. Um, and it was something like £800 less than what I'd been quoted. 800 but, Oh man, it was. It Isn't was that insane? Stupid. Yeah. Uh, bear in mind, I do have two bikes on the policy, but it was mm. just phenomenal. Um, and they were just saying, oh, well, you've bought this bike, it's worth X amount of money, this is the price. I was like, it's not, it's not, you're just quoting. You're just clicking a number out the air and, yeah, yeah. and telling me I have to pay it. Well, I don't, yeah. I'm, I'm going elsewhere. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so it's, um, but insurance, my God. But you've, you, you've got to ship around. You've got yeah. 800, 800 quid difference. My, my insurance is not a lot. It's a little bit more, obviously, having my bike and having the toys that I've got on it has bumped the price up a little bit. But, um, oh, mate, mine, mine is ridiculous. You know, if they if I can find people that actually will insure me, because mm. because I've had what three three accidents, four accidents in the last five years, yeah. I had three points on my license for seventy nine in a seventy, seventy nine mile an hour in a se- Leicester Leicestershire old bill, you bunch of bastards. Sorry, seventy nine mile an hour on the A one they did me for. They're talking anyway. about doing they're doing talking about talking less no, zero tolerance now, aren't they? Where you, you can have never 10. do that. They can't do Nothing. that. Well, they can't because speedometers. Every speedometer is different, oh, so man. there's always there's always up to a ten percent yeah. error on a speedo well, unless it's calibrated by the government, whatever yeah. it is. You know, you know, I well, I did the box sticker when I bought my bike, so it, I got the uh, the sat nav the nav six, whatever it is, on the mm-hmm. beer. Literally, just went tick happy. Um, so I'll I'll watch that when I'm travelling. That's what uh, I used to use. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it'll say 70, but my speed will say 74, 75 mile an hour. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, or, that, that's or, the or, thing. Or, or vice versa. You know, well, uh, that's the thing, the is that yours will say, show that. Yeah. Yours will show that, but mine will show 70, 71 on the, the Nav 6 thing. Yeah. So GPS speed will be 70, 71, but my speedos on my GSs were showing between 77 and 82, yeah, 83, yeah. because yeah. I've had like three GSs. Yeah. So it varies. It totally varies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, So I follow the, the, the sat-nav now. Yeah, yeah, because you can go a bit quicker. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I did, and then I got done at 79. <laughs> well, uh, Kath, my beautiful wife, posted a question. She mm-hmm. came in last night. I've got to put a question. I've got to put a question on. I was like, oh, bloody thought you joined it. Well, but she posted she, it. She put it on. It must be on Facebook. It must be on Facebook. Oh, mate, we're never going to get to no, that. What's no. it? Let me have a look. Um, <laughs> well, while you have let, a look, I'm going for another pay. <laughs> all right, okay. We'll be back in a second. Right, dude, I found it. It's over on Facebook. Mate, there, there are another over 30 questions on Facebook. We're only about five questions in on sorry, Patreon sorry. so far, sorry, and there's about Bob. another 30 to go. Um, Bob Bob Holly says, Bruce, when this COVID crazy world finally straightens out and you get stateside, let us stateside clan members know so we can meet and have a ride out. Oh, that would be very good. Me. Absolutely. Bob, um, I fully intended to come over to the States this year. I will definitely be there in 2021, providing the world doesn't collapse again. As long as everything keeps going the way it's going, then I will be there minimum a week, hopefully try and stretch it out to 10 days to two weeks, stateside, maybe a bit of Canada as well. Again, I'll let you know when I'm coming. Be great to meet up. 
And that goes for any other clan members or anybody at all who's listening that fancies meeting up over in the States. I'm putting you up. What's that? I'm putting you up. I'm putting, putting me up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat much. You'll be all right. <laughs> um, right. Catherine Wardle English. Hi, Kath. Uh, Pete, what's the quickest time you can get from Scarborough to Billingham with an angry oh. wife on his pillion asking for a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, what's the story there then? The, the, yeah, ob- obviously the story. Well, we used to live in Billingham, which was the next town up. Right. Uh, so uh, I had a ZX9R. Right. Uh, I think that was what we were Pillion friendly. Time. Yeah. Oh, man. Do you know what? We went all over, Kath and I, on that. We went all over. Uh, do you know, it was. I've actually looked at trying to find another one. Have you? Yeah. Um, because oh man, it was it was mega. Yeah, it was beauty. It would top out when it was new at one eighty. And On I that got private test track we all use. Yeah, yeah. My 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 friends uh, run with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, <laughs> so we got back and oh god, it, I don't know I don't know many miles it is how far it is, but normally a normal. It would take you two hours in Sunday traffic. Let's put it that way, or holiday traffic. It would take you two hours. I bet we did it in 50 minutes. 50? Yeah, I bet, yeah. yeah. The, uh, and she yeah. still married you. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, that's, I've been caught speeding, and I was caught speeding on that bike by a very, very nice cop, as it turned out. Uh, 127, I was doing. Yeah. They, on a public road, obviously, on a private road, obviously. Um, he got me at 99. Oh, he's good. Um, good lad. Good and lad. Kath was, and, and, and Kath was on the back. What, What? he, he actually uh, got you at 199, or did he say, I got you at 99? Uh, <laughs> well, when, when, uh, when well, I, let's not when say I, anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Let's not say any more anymore because unfortunately <laughs> okay. there are arseholes out there that might make a big deal out of these sort of things. So um I, I all received. Sorry. All received. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll be all right, mate. Don't need to cut it. Yeah, Don't need to cut it. it well the 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 fault the, the, the throttle was faulty. These things happen, man. These things happen, don't they? And uh, thankfully, thankfully, you know, yeah. he was there to stop you and make you aware safe. of it. And everyone's yeah. much safer now and educated, and we've moved on. Yeah. Excellent, great. And she's never, she's never been on the back since, <laughs> <laughs> or the bike. Um, John Broadhurst. Hey, it's John. It's the Ben Boys. Question for Pete: yeah. What's your thoughts on polypropylene? Is it really popular due to its combination of stain resistance, softness, and value for money? And can you really clean it with bleach? Only, only kidding. Real question is, what were your real thoughts after skidding through the river? Angry, annoyed, or just wanted to cry? Right, John. First of all, don't <laughs> use think... bloody, don't use, don't use bleach on your carpet. John, Never. John, John, you've lit a fire here. <laughs> Go on. Uh, it's don't use bleach on your carpet. <laughs> it won't. It won't do any damage to the carpet, but it'll just rot the back end of the carpet. What was the second part of the question? <laughs> <laughs> what was the second part of the question? Um, what were your real thoughts after skidding through the river? Were you angry, annoyed, or just wanted to cry? Because when you when you oh. when, when you drop that bike crossing the river, I think it was the second time when you just jumped back up again. Mm. It was like I mean, I would I would either be picking that bike up and throwing it into the river, or on my knees crying my eyes out. And you were just like, ah, oh, okay, right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Mate, you can't. It doesn't come across on camera. I was howling. I, I was well, laughing. laughing. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just um, well, probably a bit due, due to a bit of uh, stupidity, I guess. But uh, also, just sure, well, it's happened. What, what are you going to do? What? Yeah, you know, it's like the the bike's well protected with the bars, so they did such uh, a good job. Thing, the the only thing that I mean, I don't, I didn't worry about it at the time, but the 
the bar ends, you know, the hand guards might have yeah, been yeah, yeah. damaged or the, the mirrors might have got scuffed. I'm not bothered about the top box. Top box is only, mm-hmm. you know, it's an aftermarket top box, not, nothing major expense in that. You buy the, you bought the, the, the guards to do a job. You know, it's going yeah. to get lent over every now and then. It's going to have a lie down every now and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Especially if you try and ride across rivers. Yeah, but... Man, I've done enough off roading. I've thrown bikes upside down. That's you know, it's no big, it's no big deal. Uh, the thing to be fair, it, I wasn't doing hundred mile an hour, so <laughs> nobody's getting hurt. No, 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 exactly. So, and the, the thing is, is that it's an adventure bike, and yeah. everybody always says, "Oh, why?" Not everybody, but adventure bikes' biggest critics always say, "Oh, never, never goes off road, does it?" But yeah. if you take a bike off road, the chances are, at some point, yeah. if you do it enough. You're going to drop the bike at some point, aren't you? So, But if you go through the comments, the amount of, I've been called a tool, I've been called oh, yeah, an yeah, yeah. idiot, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, there's a bridge like 50 metres up, why didn't you use that? Well, yeah, but why is there a Ford there? Why is, you know, it's there for a it's, reason. And yeah. it's, you know, it's... Um, it's the, comments, you know, yeah. the comments are just part of of social media and... They're a negative part of social media if you let it be a negative part. Yeah. And I never used to, but I de- I find, I think it says because the channel's grown and it's it's had a bit of a spike, so there's a lot of new people commenting. Yeah. And and you sort of develop relationships with people that comment all the time, you know, and it's it's just you start like 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 you you know you, you'd comment and on youtube and you'd comment in social media and stuff and you came up you joined patreon you came along to patreon meet and we meet and you, i meet you at shows and all that and you start developing relationships with people don't you and people become like yeah. friends you can put you can put a face and a persona and a personality behind somebody but in the comments it's just totally blank isn't it you get a name mm. and that's it and yeah. you're not I said this so many times. I'm sorry if I bore people with it, but with a conversation like this, where effectively you're face to face, although we're not face to face, we are through cameras. I can see your facial expressions. I can see your body language when you say something. I've got a real good idea as to whether you mean it, whether yeah. you're being funny, whether you're being serious, you're angry, facetious, sarcastic, you know. But or when it's written twat. down, y- yeah. But when it's written down, there's yeah, none you, of that. You yeah, you can't see that. It's yeah. how how do you feel at that time? Like you, when you read that, how are you feeling? And I've I've been on a bit of a downer the last month or two. I think I don't know why. I've just been like, oh god. There was a proper oh, just... cock bumble recently that I messaged you about. And it, it, I mean, oh, which, you one? Did react... <laughs> which one? Yeah. <laughs> which but, one? Yeah. Uh, which one? It was about the Africa Twin video, and it was just like, oh, oh my god. god! When you'd literally you came from the the hospital, you literally yeah, yeah. jumped on the bike for the very first time. Mm-hmm. Didn't know how anything worked, but for me, oh yeah, I got a lot of flack for that. Yeah, for me, that's how exactly I would get it. You know, the dealer's not going to spend, and now we're telling me like going through this, especially with the Africa Twin, which is like you need a, you need. It's got a lot about it, doesn't it? It's got yeah, a lot. It does. There's a lot to so, that. Yeah. Like. So it's, um, but that's what you want. You want a first a real life review. So I, I've always said, you know, I am, I am not a technical reviewer. I am a, how does it make you feel? I know Rich is like that as well. And some people have said, well, that's just a cop-out. You know, like now you're you're a professional at this. This is my job. So you need to have a bit of personal responsibility. And that's kind of, uh, I'm sort of coming to that line of thought now that, okay, I can't, maybe I can't just be, I'll jump on the bike and tell you how it feels. I need why, to do why, a little why, bit more. Why, why not? There's a lot of people that, that that works perfectly. Go watch Andy. Go watch T- TMF if you want. They're actually that, exact. That was that yeah. was my thinking. Was mm. that I'm not that type of person. I'm yeah. not. I'm not anal no. about no. figures and facts and ratios and all the rest. Of that. That's not me. I'm a. Does this bike make me howl with with laughter, yeah. or does it leave me feeling a little bit bland? You know yeah. what what is the bike doing to me? That's that's how I I am, and I think. When you get criticised, it is hard not to take it personally. And I've I found myself over the last month or so thinking, oh, maybe is it me? Do I need to change it? Do I need to 
do I need to change what I'm doing? And I've found myself now, like just in the last couple of videos that I've been editing, they're not out yet. I sort of try to go back to what I always used to, the trip stuff. You know, it's like I've done a load of bike reviews recently and that's just to try and get the views up and give the yeah, channel yeah. a bit well, of a kick. Yeah, well, that's understandable, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, just, just try and get a, a bit of a kick into the channel. And I've just, I'm just starting to do some of my tour edits again and it's so nice just to get back into, yeah. into that. You know, and it's like, oh, in my comfort zone, I know you're this. Not, you're not going to tick every box, are you? But, no, you're not. You're but not. Yeah, but the people who enjoy your channel, like myself, if, you know, we enjoy you for a reason, you know, mm. it's, and, you know, there's going to be some people that don't like it, but hey, if you can't afford to lose a few, what's a, there's something wrong in there. This is the thing, you know, the, num the numbers, numbers, at the end of the day, numbers mean effectively nothing, mm. really, to the, you know, and like, it, it helps to have a big subscriber base, a big following, but it also really helps to have a, a very engaged community yeah, around yeah. you. And, yeah. and I'm lucky that, you know, I've, I've, I've got that. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, like bike and family. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds corny, doesn't it? But yeah. no, it's, it's, it's just like one big sort of biking club, isn't it? But uh, until the shit, it's a fan like we did with Chase last week. Oh, mate. Poor bugger. Fucking hell. On it. Yeah, Poor unbelievable. Bugger. I, me I oh, messaged him actually and just, oh, I mean, poor guy, he's over a million subscribers and YouTube are still like, no, they, they pulled it again the second time, they pulled it yeah. again. The biggest thing for me is, you know, like now we we don't have uh, a photo album, do we? We don't. Everything, mm. everything now is on your phone. Everything's on the phone. Every photo that I've took in the last 10 years is on my phone or in my yeah. laptop or whatever. YouTube. All your content is there. It's probably nowhere else, is it? I, I keep. Got a hard I do drive. keep. Yeah, I do keep hard drives. Yeah. Yeah. So well, but I, I know plenty of people that don't. Plenty can you of people imagine? that just delete. Mm -hmm. But can you? But not only that. It's but on your hard drive. It's not all the interaction that's been in that. Is yeah. there none of that? All, all the comments and everything that's yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. I mean, the, that was my first thought of not only just losing the channel. It was like, my God, you've lost. 10 years worth of all that interaction all that yeah. content my god it just and it's it's not just it's not just losing all that stuff it's that's the guy's well same as me but he's yeah. on a much bigger scale that's not only his livelihood but he's got a team he's got a team of yeah, four five six staff. guys yeah 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 and it's yeah. like that, that's everybody foobard here unless he can get this income stream coming again it does prove oh, that vulnerable I actually, the, my first thought was like, obviously you've been full time at this, and I thought mm. it must make you think of this is, you know, it's shit. You know, it can be pretty massively. Serious. But you cannot. I've always said, and I was, I was always told, and I, I live by it, that in this game, in the YouTube game, you cannot rely on one income stream. Mm -hmm. You need to have multiple strings yeah. to your bow. I certainly do because I don't, I don't make enough off of ad revenue yeah. i hardly make anything off ad revenue so i don't make enough to live off of well you know i think in all honesty i can probably pay the management agents for my flat off of what i earn off ad revenue you know my my income comes from patreon it comes from march sales it comes from the tours that's gone yeah. it comes from uh my sponsors all this sort of stuff and then you get flack for from it, like I started, I've got some sponsors for the podcast. So you, you know, I read out a, a sponsor um, ad. Yeah. At, well, three or four sp uh, ads at the start of the show, and someone said, "Oh, it took me. I was uh, I'd been listening for a day and a half, and I hadn't got through the ads yet." And I was just like, "It's it's a one minute ad. Yeah. This costs you nothing. It's yeah. a one minute ad. That's all. Yeah. Skip it if you want to skip yeah, it. You know. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's yeah. The like, beauty." Oh. If you're not watching live, you can forward it for a if you have to. Yeah, no, it's like you know you're just like oh, for God's sake, that's forty yeah. quid in my pocket. Jesus Christ, yeah. give me. Yeah. <laughs> you've got, you've no. got to put a roof over your head, haven't you? No, but yeah. you know, oh, well. for for me as a you know a, a subscriber, Patreon, that's your lip, that's mm. your living. This is how you make. How do we yeah, make yeah. our living? We make our living by doing what we need to do. You yeah, have to yeah. make your living by doing what you have to do. I kind of very much. Uh, I very much take the opinion with Patreon in that I don't expect I don't expect people to invest in me in the channel for nothing. 
I want to give something back. So yeah. whether that's early access, whether that's meetups, whether it's content that you're not going to get anywhere else, you know, live streams just for us. It's all this sort of stuff. Yeah. That's that's what I want Patreon to be. Coming from coming from my side of the table, as mm. a as a uh, um, as a Patreon, mm -hmm. I I I've had this conversation with a uh, somebody today, in fact, and I I found myself having a not justify why I do it, which I found very easy. I just said, I get a lot more, for the amount that I contribute every month, I feel that I get far more back than that little outgoing on a month by you telling me what's coming up. Mm. You know, are we going to have a meet up? You know, there's this trip coming up, we're doing this, there's this bike review. I get, no, I don't feel like I'm getting something um quicker than somebody else, although that's potentially what's happening. But I just feel like you're interacting with me personally and you're saying, yeah. Pete, this is what I'm doing, which it feels like for the, the little contribution feels brilliant in my opinion. And it's, mm. uh, you know, if anybody's thinking about being a Putin, it's like, you know, for the little it costs, it's, you know, I think you get a lot back from it. Personally, I do. So well, That's nice to know. I kind of, yeah. I do feel there's so much more that I want to do. Yeah, on Patreon, but it's just not been possible yet. You no, know, like, I mean, look at what we're living in. It's shit, isn't it? At the minute. So. Yeah, the meet uh, the meetups, the meetups was a biggie. Yeah, and we managed one. It was yeah. a well, it wasn't a catastrophe because we all had a. Everyone seemed to have a great time, mm. apart from the pheasant and that poor bugger <laughs> that I rear ended. But you know, but even the lands entry, you know that. Yeah. You know, Look, exactly. by you post on Patreon, which is you feel like you're part of the team. You're sort of like saying, mm. right, this is where I'm going to be. I'm going to do this. Right, I'll come down. I'll ride with mm. you for a half an hour. I'll ride you for three hours. Yeah, and I want to do a lot more of that. Yeah. I want to do that all around the UK and just, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm coming up to Hull. I'm going to York. I'm going yeah. to Blooming the Lakes. I'm mm. going all over the place. Just mm. let's meet up. Yeah. So that's the idea behind, it. and I'm I'm trying to get the old live stream up and running, like like the old Patreon only live stream type thing yeah. as well. Well, so we can. Do you mention the questions on that live? Abs absolutely. <laughs> yeah. There's no hiding, is there? When it's live, yeah. oh, there's shit. no hiding like this. But you know, at least you have that safety net that mm, maybe we could just <laughs> not when it's live. No. <laughs> right. Next question. Matt Rowe designs. Hi Pete, if you oh my god, if you lost in a soggy biscuit competition with Toss Pot Chop, Sticky Vegas, and Wee Man, I think Wee Man's TMF, isn't he? Whose custard <laughs> cream would you nibble on first, and why? <laughs> oh wow! Hang on. First of all, is soggy biscuit competition euphemism? Something. You know what a soggy biscuit competition? No. You never See, you must have gone to a good old comprehensive and not a public school, a yeah. private school. Yeah. Soggy Biscuit is a, a sort of private school stroke rugby club type game okay. where you get some gentlemen to stand round a digestive biscuit or biscuit of choice. Oh, don't, don't go any further. <laughs> and they entertain themselves yes. over that biscuit and the no. last one to complete has to eat the biscuit. No, no, <laughs> fucking, not a chance. Not on this planet. I think it's like a marine para yeah, kind it of game be, yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, my days. So Pete, which 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 one of us, <laughs> and why? <laughs> We're all can we, waiting. Can we get back on the subject of like girls and things and bikes? <laughs> is is that you, that's your one and only pass? If you take it, that's yeah, your one and only I'm, pass. I'm a northern bloke. Who, you know, I dress to the right, and that's as far as that's as off you're gonna go. <laughs> I think he's passed, Matt. Sorry, mate. Uh, and by um, the way, talking about wee man. There's a, yeah. there's, a, there's a photo of me, you, uh, Richie, and Andy. And uh, see, uh, wild bad. Andy is 100% on his tippy toes. Mate, he was tiny, wasn't he, yeah. compared to everybody else? <laughs> yeah, it, actually, to be fair, he's about the same height as me, to be fair. But he look, he doesn't. He, he's definitely on his tiptoes. Because he's, he's lo he lost a lot of weight, didn't he? He got right oh, into he his fitness yeah, and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I remember at Wild Bad, he was really trim, really cut. Yeah. And he just looked so he looks so diminutive compared to yeah. like you know big fat old me stood next to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we I, I, we've been out riding together in uh, Tobo, and we we are although I'm wider, but as far as height, we're the we're the same height. Oh yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
I've got a few more heads on my head, though. I must say. <laughs> Don't, tell him that. Don't tell him that. <laughs> Andy is probably, I think Andy's one of the most competitive people I've ever met. In a good way, you know. Yeah, I, no, yeah. I have got a lot of respect for Andy. He's a nice. To, he's a he's a top lad, actually. He's a nice lad. The guy's work ethic is yeah. phenomenal, yeah. and his his thickness of skin is unbelievable. Because he gets a lot of flack, a lot yeah. of flack. I can only and, imagine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. He's got 180 odd subs. Yeah. <laughs> I've got like yeah. 40 odd thousand, mm. and he's yeah. he's got 180 thousand. Wow. Yeah. To deal with that, wow. Anyway, right. And he answers, he, he answers loads of questions as well on his. Yeah, the, he does. He, yeah, he, yeah. he he definitely puts the time in. Mm. Yeah, I think he like writes off a day to sit and just yeah. answer comments yeah. and inquiries yeah. and stuff. Fair play to the book. Yeah, I, I'm still intensely jealous, and I hate him. But um, yeah, fair play to him. Angad Singh, not a question, but an idea. How about printing all of Pete's questions as a biker version of Cards Against Humanity or on a buff and selling it as a limited run? That there is you go. A, Angad, that is an awesome idea. You'll have to go back to the questions and find out what I've asked. I have no clue. Wow. Right, Pete, I'll put you on the spot. What's your charity? If you could donate to a charity of choice, what would it be? Uh, Zoe's Place. Zoe's place. Yeah. What's that? Uh, it's a child hospice. Oh, cool. Zoe's place. Right. I tell you what, I'm going to do then, mate. I'm going to speak with Roger that deals with the merch. And Gad, that is an awesome idea. I'm going to come glad. up with a design with yeah. all your questions. We'll do a buff, and all all of the profits well, well, from that. No, no, no. Two, you yeah. <laughs> All of the profits from that will go all to. Profits, right, yeah. I forget about all to, the questions. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're not going to send a question. <laughs> there's some sick, there's some sick young people. We're going to send them some of your questions. No, no, but I will. I'll do something on that. Angad, that's a fantastic idea, dude. Love that. Yeah, right, okay. we'll do that, mate. Oh, we'll awesome. Yeah. Um, Take my hat off to you. <laughs> I'm blinded. Big, I'm blinded by the reflection. My big scar. <laughs> Oh yeah, what happened? You you took a massive oh, chunk out your head. Oh didn't you? man, I put a Indian scalp myself. I had um, I had some uh, workmen working in my loft at the, a couple of weekends ago, about three weeks ago, and he needed some boards putting down so he could work in the loft. Yeah, the electrician and um, he had, he had the torch. You could see everything was fine, and just as I turned to move, he put the torch down in the eaves, and the place went wet out. Proper scalp myself. Oh, yeah, so it, um, yeah, it went right down the bone. Totally took the uh, took about a took about a um, a good fifty pence piece size of skin off the top of my head. So it's just under the hairline, though. So you'll be yeah, okay. You'll be fine. fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, mate. This is two. We have been on for about two hours ten shut minutes. Up, so far. Shut up! No, we have. We have. Yeah, we have. Shut Twenty past blooming eight. Right. Yeah, let's let's have... what. I have got a million <laughs> messages. <laughs> but honestly, this is a live, is it? No, no, Shit. no, 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 no. This will go out on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. um, the podcast, right? Let's let's try and fire through because we've not even got to the end of the Patreon. Mate, there's so many questions. We've not even got anywhere near the end of Patreon yet, let alone all the other platforms. Right, Brian Young, no question. I just want to say thanks to you, Bruce, and your guests for keeping me going through these dark days. However. Excuse me. This one promises to be off the wall. Keep it pinned. Brian, top man. Glad it's, I'm glad it's helping in any way at all, bud. Thank you. Cheers for listening. Fen Tours. Martin, question for Pete. How do you balance running a successful business, especially in the silly mad 2020, that's kept business owners busy with getting plenty of time for motorcycle fun? Motorcycle fun. So work, bike, balance. How oh, do you shit. do it? Uh, quick as you can concise and we'll move on the wife runs everything <laughs> do as you're told basically yeah basically yeah no having somebody that allows me to do it simple as that mm. yeah that's that's it simple yeah i uh i work hard the wife works hard and i take some time off mm. and she allows me to do it so it's give and take she can go off and do her thing and I do my thing. 
Yeah, awesome. We come, that... we come back to the same. We come back to the same front doors, four walls every single night. So, give and take. Yeah. It was interesting when I when I had Chase on here, Chase on two wheels, and he was saying that now basically everybody in his team knows that come six o'clock. Oh yeah, yeah, that's so it. Yeah, yeah. He downs tools. That's, that's it. I'm done. That's discipline. That. Oh, and, and, and it really yeah. took me back because I'm like, yeah. I'm still here at two or three in the morning, yeah. seven days a week. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I work all the time. Not work. Yeah. I'm not complaining, but I'm I'm editing all the time. Yeah. You know, and it's like. Yeah. My wife maybe gets two weeks out of my life a year where yeah. we'll go away and do a holiday. And as it is, that's supposed to be now at the moment, but we can't yeah. do anything. So yeah. Yeah. she's not well, even going to get that this year. This kitchen table I'm sat at now, Sundays are the only time we sit and have a meal together because mm-hmm. I'm never home on time. Mm. Um, at six o'clock, I wish, I wish I could, you know, no, I can't. I can't lock, I can't clock off at six o'clock every night. Yeah, I was I was impressed with that with Chase. I really was. It's like that's yeah. that's a lot of discipline to do something yeah. like that. Heck yeah. yeah. But I suppose you got in his game, you can literally pause it and pick it up the next morning, mm. can't you? Yeah. Before I mean he did he did yeah. say that if there's a launch or something that's coming up or something that has to be done, yeah. then you know, you will work past that and you'll yeah. work and you'll get it done. But as a rule, generally six o'clock, boom, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, fair play to him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you only yeah, start no. at six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six o'clock, five past six, finished. Job done. <laughs> yeah, good question, Martin. Actually, yeah, I think that's something a lot of people, a lot of people, sort of juggle with, isn't it? Work life yeah. balance. Oh heck yeah, yeah. But uh, but I have realised you've got to do it. You've got to mm. because if you just, I mean, I did it for years where work, 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 and work and. It, no, it doesn't work. You've got to. You can't. You burn out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, you do. You burn out. Yeah. Right. Next one. Paul Jai. After watching you fall off your brand new, it's another one. After watching you fall off your brand new bike twice in one day and laughing it off, what has made you most angry? Oh, my brother. Um, like, uh, <laughs> no hesitation. No, no hesitation. Uh, do, do you know what? These days, lately, a lot of the. I mean, I'm a, I'm a 50 year old now, okay? Yeah. And when I say the youth, I, like the younger people, I always think, I'm not old. I'm not, I'm not old. But now more and more, I'm going, you know, the younger generation, I've not got a clue. No. Not no. got a clue. And unfortunately, I'm in a position where I do, I, I deal with the public all the time. And the public's getting younger, in my eyes, getting younger and younger. Oh, yeah, mate, yep. They don't have a clue. And that yeah. sometimes, unfortunately, makes me... It's frustrated more than anything, I guess, rather mm-hmm. than angry. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess frustration rather than angry. I don't get angry about anything else except my brother. Uh, but, no, <laughs> first... first um, yeah. Yeah, I don't get angry about a lot, but sort of the younger generation really... I'm, I'm the same. It's uh, uh, you kind of you're left a little bit gobsmacked a lot of the time by people's attitude, and I find myself, yeah. I find myself questioning myself sometimes, thinking, is it is it me? Am I am I just outdated? Am I wrong? Or, or yeah, yeah. Do you know like people's priorities about certain things? And oh, I just yeah. Well, yeah, I, I'll give you a story. Now, they won't watch this, so it'll be fine. I had, I had a job recently where why not? <laughs> and a job recently where we sold some carpets uh, to a young couple, sort of mid to late twenties, and the attic, the the carpet upstairs in the attic, was very challenging. The lads <laughs> couldn't get it up there on their own without, you know, we we got eight lads in there in the end, uh, six uh, sorry six lads to get it up in the end, but there was a time period before that happened. She mm. wanted to cancel. Uh, about a 2,800 quid job because I told her um, uh, she has to be realistic. And I can't remember the exact term I used. Uh, something like, uh, we live in the real world. It's got to get up. It's got to get somehow. Mm-hmm. Uh, common sense, that's the word I used. Oh, that was offensive, was it? And that apparently? was offensive. Wow. Because, I used the <laughs> word, because I'd used the word common sense. They wanted to uh, cancel 
with a full refund um, because I'd use them with common sense. Wow. You do. I did wonder, you know, when the whole COVID thing was on the horizon and we were thinking, are we going to be in Mad Max apocalypse in, you know, six months' time? When it, Because it was a little bit unknown initially, wasn't it? It was like, what, what is on the horizon here? I did think to myself, is this what we need? Maybe we need this. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah, we need yeah. this yeah. massive I reset. Of, I, I keep thinking of that. Well, don't you don't don't use the word reset. You'll get all the. Uh... Oh God, yeah, yeah, I'll get cancelled, won't I? Hell yeah. But you know, I did think to myself, maybe, maybe this, we, maybe we've brought this upon ourselves here, and that maybe we just need this for the the common sense, logical people to survive, mm. <laughs> and the yeah, yeah. and the ones that that push a pull door. Yeah. See you later. Ta ta. Yeah. Uh, Apart from the, the ones who are getting the benefits of being given more money to be on benefits. So. <laughs> oh mate, don't just don't. <laughs> Don't <laughs> leave that. I don't we'll just leave that there. I don't understand that in this country. I think it's fantastic that we have a social system in place that, if you can't work for a reason, whether it's medical or whatever the reason is, if you genuinely cannot work, then we as a There's population, a safety net. yeah, we yeah. can help you out. We can keep you alive. We can put a roof over your head. I've got no problem with that. If you if you can, if you will never work for no fault of your own, then I've got no problem with helping yeah. you out. But if you choose yeah. to never work, I have a massive issue with my money going to you. Massive. Uh, yeah. I, I don't I don't understand why we bail people out that choose not to work. Yeah. When I when I was on the tools, I used to go in people's houses nine times out of ten. You know there would be the lady, the house in the house, letting us mm. in, do the job. Mm. You know, nine times out of ten. So every time I'd turn up and there'd be the gentleman, there'd be the husband usually in the house. And I used to have a default saying, is, uh, oh, is it your day off today? Mm-hmm. It just—it was just human nature for me to say that. Sexist maybe, but that's how I used to say it. And I used to get it. Every now and again, I can't afford the work. Mm. And it used to just, yep. put, it used to put my hackles up and I used to go... Well, I used to say lots, but... Uh, There's something fundamentally wrong with that. If you're better yeah. off being on benefit hell than yeah. getting a job, yeah. then something's wrong. Hell that, yeah. Something has yeah. to be addressed. Yeah. Because yeah. you're not paying in then. You're not, you're not paying anything in in taxes yeah. into yeah. the pot. So there is a massive issue. We're going down the rabbit hole here. We are, mate, massively. <laughs> yeah, I can feel my heckles going up already. This used yeah. to be what I was like in the old bill. It was just like, ah, it's the same people I'm dealing with all the time. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> right, Andy, what? How are you for time, mate? Are you okay for time? No, I'm not going nowhere. Right, uh, Andy Whitaker. Question to both: What was your best childhood memory, and what was the name of your favourite teddy bear? Oh shit! Do you know I didn't? I didn't have a name for my teddy bear. I didn't have a teddy bear. I can't remember having a teddy bear. I did. I had this blue and white teddy bear, and I remember I. I left my bedside light on when I was. Are you, are you looking at it? Is he down I there? am. Yeah, he's down there. Yeah, yeah. I left my bedside light on last night, and it burnt his ear. No, and it and it burnt. It singed his ear. I remember I woke up and it was all burning, and we had to restuff him. But I didn't. Don't, don't think I had a name for him. Just Ted or something. I don't know. I, I yeah, honestly can't remember ever having a like a, a, a cuddly toy. Or, I must have okay. done. I must Best have childhood memory. Oh, shit, my God. I remember, uh, mum and dad used to, my dad worked on, in the, um, off, mainly offshore, he worked in the, he was in a welder, but in the oh, oil, yeah. ga- in the oil and gas industry, similar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oil, yeah similar oil boy. Um, so when dad used to come over, it was always kind of, we'd go do something, we'd go somewhere and go somewhere. And he would always take us to a, there'd be like a beauty spot up in the mirrors. And it had a uh, like a stream running through, and we'd like in the summer months we'd play in the stream and stuff. And I could all my first memory really is just pretending I was on a like a motorbike, <laughs> and I would I would run the length of this this mower, just pretending to jump over things. And I still think of that now. And I've I've actually been past that place lots and lots, and even rode an actual dirt bike over the bits. Oh, yeah. I, I pretended to when I was a kid, yeah. Wow. And um, that's uh, probably my one of my happiest memories when I was younger, just 
Yeah, I think of those times and think so innocent and loved it. Just... Yeah. I haven't, got, I, haven't got, I haven't got a lot of memory. My 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 memory's pretty shocking, actually. My memory, is but, it? yeah, it is terrible. Yeah, but um, I've never forgot that. I, I just remember as a kid, knowing how much I love bikes now, and thinking where did it start, and uh, I just remember doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I I can't I can't complain. I had a I had a great childhood. I've got absolutely no complaints about it whatsoever. So all my memories are great. But one thing that st- stands out was my dad was the same as yours. He worked in the offshore oil and gas. He's a, a quantity surveyor, a con- cost engineer, con- a quantity surveyor out in the oil and gas on the rigs. And I remember one year, I don't know how, but they came into some money. I don't know why. But we came into some money, and it was about 1980, 1981, and my dad was like, we're going on holiday to Florida. And this was before people went to Florida. And we did, to me, it felt like I was out there for about eight years, but I think it was like three weeks or five weeks or wow. something. We we did a big, hol- a long holiday. The whole six my, weeks holiday. Yeah, and my dad yeah. had a distant relative over there. I called him my Uncle Bob and Auntie Irene, but I think he was my dad's aunt's cousin. And he was, he was, yeah. Not Uncle he, Bob who put the keys in the pot. Not that yeah, Uncle Bob. Not, not, that, not that Uncle Bob. But my Uncle Bob was, he was an ex-Marine in the Second World War. He'd been an MIPD cop and then he'd worked in the New York Fire Department. And he was like, to me, he was John Wayne. You know, he was just goddamn John Wayne. Hey, brute, God. Damn, he had a massive revolver in every room in his oh. in his house. They drove a, a big sort of soft top Cadillac, picked us up from the airport. And I just remember that holiday was was just like living the dream. It was the best time. I learned to swim in their pool because my brother we my brother and I got up really early one morning before all the adults. And my brother was like four or five years older than me. So we went out to the pool. We'd always been told, you don't go to the pool without an adult. Well, we went out, didn't we? My brother just pushed me in at the deep end. <laughs> so it was like, I had to learn how to you swim. You had one of those brothers as well then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and that is how I learned to swim, was my brother tried to kill me. So I, I had to learn how to swim. And and that was it. From then on, I just I just loved the water. But yeah. uh, that, that holiday is probably my my strongest How old were you then? I think. About five. Right, uh, Nineteen eighty-one. Right. Yeah, uh, f- yeah. I've been five. Five. Right. Yeah, it's awesome. What what a holiday, man! Disney yeah. World, Kennedy oh, Space man. Center. Oh, it's brilliant. My, when I was that age, my mum and dad went a holiday together <laughs> without us. We had to without go. You? Yeah, we had, <laughs> we had to go. Spend, we had to uh, we had to stay with Auntie Dot. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, uh, yeah no. Thank you. I mean, that was like seventies, like. Uh, but mum and dad, I remember them coming back. The uh, the beat of Benidorm or somewhere. The bot yeah. was picked. The bot was a donkey, a freaking donkey. <laughs> <laughs> like, look where we've been. And a post, a post. Yeah. <laughs> we've had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. So we... I, I didn't go on a phone all day till I was nine. <laughs> but your mum and dad had a whale of a time. Oh, they loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Ah, but my dad was a welder. Your dad was quite to be severe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's stuck in an office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, next one, Robert Forster. If you were a motorbike part, what would you be and why? <laughs> wow. Shit, hey. Motorbike part. I know. God, I don't know that many parts. Um... <laughs> oh my word! Shit. Uh, uh, it'd be the clutch. <laughs> it gets touched the most. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, blimey. God, I can't even think. All I want to say is a saddle, but I'm trying to think of whose saddle oh, I'd want to I be. Yeah. <laughs> um, sheesh. Right, Robert, I'm going to use my pass yeah. on that one because yeah, I just can't think. I no, can't you're think. entitled to that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, dude, we're going to have to wrap this up soon. So uh, let's go. Let's go a couple more questions and then that'll do us, yeah? We're, we're not going to even get out of um, paper. I can't here. believe, Matt, you've been rabbiting on for two and a half hours. <laughs> I know. It's nuts, isn't it? <laughs> Waffle um, Wednesday. 
<laughs> God. Yeah, Waffle Wednesday. That's what I should call it, isn't it? Well, that's what I've been t- telling you for long enough. Waffle Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, here's a good one. Haggis, to both. You're told that you must move back in time to live. It must be more than 100 years ago. Where, when, and why? That's a good one. Ooh, wow. Right. Hang on a minute. Why? For 100 years? Oh, mm. right, okay. At least 100 years ago. Right, okay. Was it in Mate, Mormon? Uh, do, do you want to feel really old? That's only 1920s. Is it? Oh, yeah. shit, of course it is, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It's not that long ago, man, but oh, it's 100 years ago. Bloody hell. <laughs> I, was, um, I, I was thinking along the lines of, when was it Was it the Mormon times when they used to have, uh, like, mass orgies, like, in the talkers? <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it the Mormons? <laughs> I'll go, I'll go or, back then. Or, or uh, my next door <laughs> neighbour's house on a Friday, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it was Roman times. It's oh, got well, to be at least 100 years ago, so well, any time that, before 1920s. Yeah, it is a bit. Yeah, yeah. then, I'll go then. <laughs> so you want to go back to the... Um, I, don't oh, want, I don't want to do all the mass bathing, you know, that the Romans did. But I'm sure, I'm sure they had mass orgies, that'll do. Oh, God, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I would quite like to go back to... I like the idea of the Highland times, like running around as a Highlander, but it was pretty hard going, wasn't it? Hell yeah. I, I also really like the idea of the Wild West, you know, like out on oh, the frontier. Good call, yeah. But then that was proper brutal yeah. times as well. So there's the yin and the yang, isn't there? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Um, what, I, yeah. Think, I think I would probably go, I how think I would probably go to the Wild West. How long's Coke the Cola been going? Jeez, I don't know. It's got to be over 100 years, isn't it? Oh, easy. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. Well, I'd, I'd go back then and I'd steal the idea. That's <laughs> <laughs> basically, it was just cocaine, wasn't it? It was just cocoa. Yeah. That's, that's basically what it was but originally. We, we would never have to worry about money again, though, would we? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. God, yeah. Wow. That's a good... I like that one. I guess that's a good... You could chat to that, chat about that forever. Oh, um, God. 100 years, though, and you'd got it, the whole of history. Right, I'm just having a quick look. I'm just sort of scanning to see. Right, Steve Meeson. Oh, Steve. I, I like Steve a lot. He's a lovely fellow. Yeah, he's Steve. a spot on. Top man. Spot Top on, man. lad, yeah. Hi, a big man. Question for my mate Pete. If you could take three mates to ride around the world with, who would you take? If you don't say me, I'm sure Steve, I'm Steve, showing your wife Steve. all those disturbing <laughs> photos you keep sending me. <laughs> P.S. Can't wait to see you all again. What, 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 what Same photos Steve. are they? Can't wait. <laughs> oh, he sent me then. I only followed them on, that's all I do <laughs> Yeah, sorry Steve They probably come from me um, Right, so if you could take three mates to ride around the world Who would you take? Oh, uh, well, my son Nice Nice. No brainer, absolute no brainer Yeah, yeah, without a doubt He'd, uh, He would take over, by the way He would, he would organise everything Would he? Yeah, yeah, and, and do a really good job Yeah He, um, he, he would He would plot everything Yeah, he's He's good at all that type of stuff, yeah. In fact, it's uh, what I've realised lately is that if I leave stuff to him, everything goes to plan. It's just perfect. <laughs> so yeah. <it's> you. <laughs> yeah, suits me down the ground now, yeah. Yeah, no, it's good, yeah. Um, three. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I need somebody with a bit of experience, so you, I guess. Only you prefer doing it solo. No, I wouldn't mind. With the right people, I wouldn't mind yeah, doing yeah. A, a trip. It's definitely. picking. The, it's got to be picking the right people, though. That's the thing, isn't it? You spend a lot of time with somebody. Yeah, and I think you, you just have to realise you're going to have days where you need a bit of distance. Yeah, you know, definitely. It's, it's, it's a bit like a marriage, really, yeah. in that there's times when... There's times when you want to be together. There's yeah. times when you just want your own space. I, th- I think you, you want to share the experience... But you don't want to share everything, you know. Yeah, you yeah. yeah true. Just, I'm, I'm like that. If I want to, the, the the one thing I like about when I go out on my bike on my own, not that I don't like riding with people, is that if I see someone, I want to stop. I'll stop. Mm-hmm. When you're with somebody, like when I was with Rich recently, it's kind of like we're going here, we're going there, we're going there. So you don't stop till you get there. You get here, mm-hmm. get there. But you're seeing so much stuff where if you're on your own, you probably would have stopped and had a look mm-hmm. and. Had a yeah. picture and you know just 
So and I li- that's where I like the intercoms because with the intercoms uh, you can go. Oh, have you seen that? Do you want to stop? Yeah. Can we stop here? Because otherwise, if you haven't got that communication, then it's just you get to the place and go. Oh, I wish I'd stopped. And then the yeah. other one goes, oh, did you see that place? Yeah. Oh, that would have been great to stop. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, had, I've had a few different communication systems over the past, but by far that Cardo one, I think it's the safest way you could possibly ride a mm. motorcycle. You yeah, know, yeah. with somebody else, it's, you know, safe to overtake because you can, it's clear, you know, it's... Yeah, it's bigger, good. But, yeah. But, but, yeah, so my son would be one. Uh, I take somebody with experience like yourself, but other than that, anybody else who wants to come, really, you know, and just yeah. enjoy and not be a not be a dick, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Well, that was just for you, so I don't need to answer no, that. No, that. No, you've got to do that. No, no, no. Steve said it's for <laughs> no, his mate. Hey, Steve's a patron. You've got to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, if I had to take three mates, um, That's for you, definitely, Steve. definitely my son. Same as you, definitely yeah. my son. You know, I, I, I think, I think travel is something everybody that wants to should be involved with because it, yeah, it does change it. Does change yeah. your perception of people. It changes yeah. your perception of the world. Hundred um, percent. So, I'd, my boy, um, who else would I like to come with me? My mate Turner. Um, yeah, my my mate Turner, he's he he helped me massively in the build up to my my round the world trip. He's the ideas man. He'd come up with all these different ideas to try and you know raise awareness and get money on board for charities and all this sort of stuff. Like Turner, Turner worked probably as hard, if not harder, than I did in the planning for the trip. So I, I would like to. Is he a biker? Like to, Did you ride? Yeah, he does. But he's yeah. another one who's he's got two young lads now. You know they are. God, God, how old? I think, oh, they're between, I think, about eight and ten now, eight and eleven, right. his kids. Um, so he's he's definitely had his riding restricted for about the yeah. last ten years, really. So it'd be good to take him away on a trip. So Turner, Turner, the boy, and who else? God, there's so many people I would love to take away. Uh but I would like to take. I would like to take. Um, oh God! I'm gonna say. I'll say a name, and then you're later on, some, I'll think. You're something to think of that shape like that, aren't you? I'm still thinking of Noel Best or Gemma Atkinson. I'm trying to get them out of my head. Um, oh, blame me. Well, I mean, to be soft, I, w- I would love. I would love the wife to come because there was. So so many places on the oh, last you've got trip. me in so much trouble now yeah i know yeah yeah i had to say that <laughs> i'm sorry but i had to say it. but there were so many times on on my trip uh, that I, I thought to myself you know nikki would love this or it would yeah. be really it would be really nice to share this with her yeah there was no, other times. definitely i, I couldn't i couldn't i couldn't have spent a year and a half with nikki by my side no not not on a not on a bike trip yeah we'd kill each other but if you could pick and choose the moments to yeah, share, definitely. definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Part right. two. Part two. Part yeah. two. Right, mate. Shall we go for one more question off of? Let's go Instagram. Let's just pick one on Instagram. Uh, Jesus, I can't believe lots. that time has just disappeared. Mate, it's nuts. It's nuts. Well, folks, if you're still with us, then um, thank you very much. Thank you. And I was bricking it, by the way. <laughs> Were you? Why? Oh hell yeah! Just because I haven't got a story, have I? I haven't got a, I haven't got a round the world trip. I'm not a racer. I'm not a Instagram sort you... of like. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a uh, pirouette Pete. My my reasoning behind brew time is I just all I want on here is conversation. I just want people that want to chat and who have something to talk about. Doesn't matter what it, I, I, I'm not bothered what it is. I just I just want people on who you can have a conversation with because I kind of feel like conversation is something that is really lacking these oh, days. Yeah, massively yeah. lacking M- yeah. now more than ever because of yeah, COVID. We're all we, guilty of it, aren't we? Because we've got mm. the phones, yeah, our, our fingertips, and we're all guilty. Yeah. I am, I'm pretty guilty of it. Yeah, 
Just... And, and originally, it was never meant to be this. I, I oh. never, ever, ever wanted to do the Zoom stuff. I didn't want, I wanted the Joe Rogan sat face to face across oh, the yeah. table. I'll come to you. And the, the whole idea behind Brew Time is that this will be incorporated into when I'm traveling on the bike. So yeah. I will do this when I'm away on the bike, traveling around the UK or somewhere in the world. I'll, I'll arrange to have a guest somewhere and we'll have a face-to-face -face conversation and record it. But well, I did, co I, I did come to you, but you wimped out. I, I did. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I was hospitalised, Pete. I really am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. I do. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so weak. <laughs> right, last question. There we go. Uh, this is on Instagram, Tfoot One Insta. Uh, RS Stamp XRD. RS Stamp XRD. He said, "What is his inspiration for his weird and wonderful questions?" Oh, you picked this question. I Jerry did. I just it. saw it. I haven't got one. It's as simple as that. It just. You must do. Right. Okay. So when 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 you first started, there was lots of lots of questions. As in, what's your favourite bike? If you could only ride one bike for the rest of your life, what would it yeah, be? Yeah, yeah. And I'm guilty because I've asked, you know, five bikes in the garage, you know, a lot malarkey. And I just, I just thought I can't, I cannot remember what the first question is. Actually, I did try and, I did try and find out what it was. It was a corker. Let's let's have a look. Uh, so, oh, I tell you what, it might have been. What's invisible but you wish people could see? <laughs> oh, yeah. I yes. That, I don't know if that was my very first one. But that is a stonker. But it was one of them. And I, 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 did, I, did have a little, I did have a little search um, uh, uh, with questions because, you know, it's, it got, it's been carried away, hasn't it? This has sort of turned into a bit of a monster. Uh, so there was a I few that... Brilliant. Yeah, but hey, but th there's no more questions left. <laughs> there's always questions. There's always questions. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier to answer them than it is think of them. <laughs> it really is. I think but, the, I mean, the, uh, the beauty but, uh, of them is that they send you down paths in a yeah, conversation. Yeah, that's that's the idea. I love that. Yeah, that was the idea. Just <clears> I just wanted to sort of thought provoking, um, just trying to create a quite a. Uh, I don't know, just uh, create a conversation, you know, just thought provoking questions. Because yeah. we can all we can all answer what's the best bike in the world. We all know it's the GS twelve fifty. <laughs> so obviously. Then, so obviously. That, que that question doesn't need answering anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, Or the Super Duke R Gen three. Mm. Well I've got I'd go for the adventure to but um same engine but mega. Yeah, they nearly bought it, but uh, yeah, I, I am I am looking for a small bike though. I am right. actively looking. You well, like a one two five. Well, well, yeah, You've that was the one, idea. You? You've no, bought I one, haven't, haven't you? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. But the, there is in my little um, my little um, buy now thing on my phone. There was a uh, something that begins with H and ends with D in the in the inbox. Ends with D. Yeah, hit Harley Davidson. That's, that doesn't end with D, does it? <laughs> Harley Davidson. Yeah, ends with an N. Davidson. Oh, sorry, HD. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> no, Mate, oh, yeah. Have you, have you ridden one? one? Have you ridden a Harley? No. Don't. Because if you're thinking of buying <laughs> one, if, if, if you're thinking of buying one and then you <laughs> go and ride it, I'll, I'll almost put money on the fact you'll buy one. Let me see if I can find the photo of the one that's in my inbox. Um, oh, there it is. Right, okay. So, oh, hang on, that's a video. Get that off. Right, so this one. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Get, right. Kath, Kath might watch it. She might not stay at the very end, so it might be okay. <laughs> oh, what's that? Fat boy? What is it? Can you see? Yeah, yeah. What one, what one 12, is that? 1,200. Uh, I just want something that uh, it's a, it's a sportster. The, uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard of that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's the colours that I want—the black and orange. It's local, 
it's in my price range, kind of. And I just, I want something I can put my feet down on the floor. Yeah. And I just, Dude. if I want, if I want to go out to see my dad without getting kitted up on the bike, and yeah, go, I get you. I totally get you. Harley's too. for me. Harley's are, are just this this weird thing I can't really explain yeah. because. There's plenty of better handling bikes. There's yeah. plenty of better performing bikes. There's just something about them that yeah. you ride it, and it, man, they just they just made me smile. And, yeah, and I went I, from I went from being this sort of adrenaline junkie who needs to overtake anything that's in front of him. I want to I want to feel like I'm going quick in every bend. To someone that's happy just to sit. On a, on this machine and thump my way down the road. Yeah, and and I really it just clicked. I got it. I just got it. Uh, I've got a picture of the one two five. I was going to buy as well. Go on. Do you want to see that? Mm-hmm. Oh wow! What is that? Can you see it or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can. Can you? <clears throat> what is that? Who makes that? Right. So it's a Chinese brand. Uh, Come on, don't get off. Uh, it is a FB Mondial HP one two five hipster. Do you know how much it is? Do you know Twenty much... quid. Well, it's three grand. All in. All right. Wow. Which is the price of a uh... that that is such a Chinese bike name, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hipster. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a whole load of like numbers and letters, and then. But that is like the a one Western that I thought. Word. I'm gonna get that. Even even if it lasts me, you know, even if I get have you seen only any reviews on it. Oh, I don't look. I don't do that. <laughs> I just like the look of it. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably gonna rust in five minutes. And uh, yeah, that was the one that I was gonna go get. Do it. But I haven't. Do it. But I haven't. I've got. I've got a. Uh, I've got a. He hasn't, uh, Kath. He hasn't. Oh, yeah. He hasn't. <laughs> I've got a fork. They took it. Instead. <laughs> he just bought a new warehouse. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dude, um oh, man. man, that is nearly three hours. Shut I think this is probably door. I think this is gonna be the longest one yet. No, I sure hope it's not. No. <laughs> man, I loved it. That time has just flown by. Oh, um man. There are so many questions still left. We haven't even we haven't answered all the Patreon questions. We haven't We've touched one question out of Instagram. We haven't even looked. <laughs> that was the at... wife's. <laughs> yeah, that was that was cats. We haven't even looked at Facebook yet. So, oh, do you know what the plainly... people are going to be annoyed that the questions haven't been asked? I know, I know. There's only there's only about <laughs> half a dozen patrons that we haven't answered. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I'll, think... I'll I'll come back down. You get the bacon back on, and we can there do crap too. There we go. Or or. Lyndon wants to do one, so oh, well, let let's do it when we're in Toro. Yeah. Let's sort it out. We'll do it when we're in Toro. Yeah, we'll definitely. Have a beer face Actually, to face you know what? It. Funny enough, that's exactly what we spoke about the other day. Because I said that um, if I told Lyndon, I said, "What time you did yours?" And yeah. he goes, "Well, actually, Bruce wants to do it here." Yeah, I think it would be. I, I think it would be great to do it face to face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, let, we let, let's the, save it the for pool, that then. Well, the... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I think we've got a bit of a delay sometimes. It's, yeah, I think it's just yeah. happened, yeah. I'm sorry, I keep over... I think I keep talking over you. I do apologise. Right. Are you there? You're there. All right, you're there now. <laughs> yeah, it, keep, it keeps holding, pausing at this end. Right, I think that's probably a good time to call it quits then, folks, because it looks like the Tinterweb's a way to die on us. Um, Pete, absolutely loved it, dude. Uh, Sangad, oh, that idea about the Pete's questions on our buff, I love it, and I will take that forward so zoe's place oh man honestly I, w- I would be you know you know that touches my heart really does if, if that happens oh. yeah i'd love to yeah, yeah absolutely no problem we used um, to do we used to do the uh, annual every year we used to do a santa run and the last time we did it all bikers dressed as santa there was oh it must be getting on to watch a thousand bikers now dressed as santa for zoe's place Cool. Um, a I don't thousand think that, bikers. Well, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but it was a lot. It was a lot. Wow. Yeah, all dressed as Santa. Yeah, me and Kathy used to do it on when I used to have a uh, VFR. We used to do it med VFR, dressed up, tinsel, yeah. the lot. Yeah, yeah it, it's a big deal, and I'm not quite sure if it's happened the last couple of years because of complications. But um, it's all for Zoe's place. It's kids' hospital is two, one in Middlesbrough, which is obviously only 
you know, close to me, and then the other one's in Liverpool. But um, cool. Well, yeah. we'll do it then, Pete. We'll get, we'll get that up and running. I'll speak with Rog, and we'll we'll get that up and running. I'll go back through all the um, all the podcasts and dig out your questions, and oh, we'll, we'll do a little design. <laughs> That's a great idea, Sangad. Thank you very much for that, pal. Right, dude, before I go, is there anyone you want to give a shout-out to? Is there anything you want to plug? Feel free. Over to uh, you. Well, first, uh, I just want to uh, thank you, basically, for for getting me on. Thank, uh, thank you for your content. Thank you for, yeah, just the, the getting us through the COVID shit and all that. that hey, we've got. My it's, it's my uh, pleasure. Yeah, no, Don't you thank thanks, me. pal. Uh, well, and, you know, you. thanks to your, the other guys that are out doing the thing as well, because you got it. Uh, I don't know. I just uh, thank you to my wife for putting up with me. <laughs> no, but, but uh, shout I out to thank anybody God. out there that's... <laughs> God, yeah, God damn. Uh, just shop local. Just shop local. Doesn't matter whether it's a carpet shop. Just <laughs> buy your groceries local. That's it. Yeah, brilliant. Simple. Loving it. Yeah. Right, mate. Look after yourself, right, Pete. Pop. And uh, thank you so much for yeah, cheers, for all your involvement. It, it's made the podcast. It, you've become a, a very firm favourite in the podcast. People always look for even the guests. The guests look forward to the Pete English question. So, um, all disappointed. Keep... <laughs> Is that that's going to get you now, isn't it? That's gonna, you're going to have to try and beat that oh, all man. the time now. It's already got me. <laughs> Keep them coming, dude. Keep them coming, but don't don't feel the pressure yeah, too try, much. I'll try my very best. I'll try my best. Trouble is, everybody's um, doing me now. <laughs> Never. You'll always be the original. You will always be the original. All right, dude. Um, as soon as as soon as this sort of lockdown bollock tier thing is all sorted, and I will take you up on your offer, and I'll come up and we'll we'll go exploring. Up in yeah, the north. Definitely, mate. No, definitely come up. Absolutely. Yeah. You're no, honest, or we'll right. see each come other up, in tour. We've we've got. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. Or I'll come out with you. Yeah. Cool. yeah. All right, mate. You look after yourself. Love to Kath and the Fat and Angel yeah, and all too, the family. Man. Say hello to Ash and, and all his family as well. Yeah. Right, folks. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. It's, it's been a crack. I can't believe three hours has nearly gone by. So um, look after those at yourselves. Keep on doing your thing. Look after those that you love. But most importantly, most importantly, live your life. Woo-ha! Mega, dude. Loved it.